All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for another album review. And we finna get into this one from Wildcard. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another album review. And yes, yes, y'all. I know your boy's been been lagging on this man but you know we've been trying to keep up to date with all the new drops that's been coming out especially with the diss track seasons too that have been coming out you know what i'm saying so yeah my bad y'all for taking too long on this one uh wild card dropped a brand new album simply called western promises this album dropped i believe six days ago or at least this song according to this song it said that it has dropped six days ago yep Basically confirms it right there. But anyway, first song that is up on deck is the title track, which is the same name as the album, Western Promises. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right into it by liking the hit here. Go. Starting route out west. Shout out to Pops. You know that's Pops getting down on the Gibson. Let's go. Yeah. Yo. I want to thank. What the hell, Internet? I thank anybody that ever. No, 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 no. You're not doing my boy like that. You need to stop playing games. Yeah. Yo. Thank anybody that ever took time out of their life to listen to my music, man. Come on, they say that death is And you're always welcome, my brother. I appreciate that. Let's go. Man. Come on, they say that death is ominous. Let me protect my dominance and bless you as a guest who the best of the Western promises. My homie was in prison, he was in the hole I visited. We couldn't touch the glass like crystal mess anonymous. I'm a Ooh, my man talking about doing doing some time. He talking about being in the hole with somebody doing some hard times, man. Bruh, it's crazy. Press my prominence set to neglect my common sense. If this affects my sponsorships, I'm going dexter on this business sections that I said, man, this is if this affects my sponsorships, I'm going dexter in, in, in this bitch, man. Bruh. Woo. Hey, sponsors, don't don't let my man down. I'm just saying. They suggest I select the longest stick, but always seem to come up short like the quest for honest chicks. Let me stop us. Say, man, you finna come up short like the like like the quest for honest chicks? Is that what he said? Let they suggest I select the longest stick, but always seem to come up short like the quest for honest chicks. Let so Cena always come up short like the quest for honest chicks. That's what he said, bruh. Oh man, are there any real women out there, man? Your boy be losing faith too. I'm just saying. I'm Calm down, ladies. I'm not talking about all of y'all. I'm just saying. It, it, it just be hard out here for some of us fellas, you know what I mean, trying to find that honest woman. I'm just saying. Let me stop myself to not allow some whole shit. It's usually the caliber of women that you roll with. Lots of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of... Let me stop myself to not allow some whole shit. It's usually the caliber of women that you roll with. Lots of oh, them okay. have been through hell and life and are just broke. Plus lots of sexual trauma that turned us into hoes quick. It's hard to think about it. It's you know what? He's speaking some real facts right there. He's talking about, yo, there's some sort of trauma, some sort of, you know, um, incident that that, that that occurs that turns, you know, formerly, um, formerly honest women into some hoes real quick. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. As a matter of fact, last girl I was with admitted that she, she cheated on somebody. So, makes me glad that I'm no longer with her. So, anyway. And it, it molded the people that we are from the experience we hold in. We're ex drug addicts having sex and we can't change because my dick is always stuck in an attic like Anne Frank, yo. Bruh. Bruh, man, he, my man, my man's still coming out raw and gritty with it. That we are from the experience we hold in. We're ex drug addicts having sex and we can't change because my dick is always stuck in an attic like Anne Frank, yo. Said, man, this dick is always stuck in that attic like Anne Frank. Damn. Let's roll and cruise through my mind. Look at all my wins and look at my losses. I 
can say I tried for why God Can't nobody tell me shit, I can't stop this Let's roll and cruise through my mind Look at all my wins and look at my losses I can say I tried for why God Can't nobody tell me shit, I can't yo, stop yo. this I go to therapy, affects how I see A lot of things with my misogyny and PTSD Yo, this is music for the real ones, I know it can change All the shit that's in our heads so we don't blow it our brains Yo, in my Yo, I appreciate that right there. Talking about, yo, this is dedicated to all the real ones who, if they really wanted to, can make a change, can make an effort, or fate, rather. It's not really determined, you know what I'm saying? It's never too late to make a change, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, the only ones who are, who are, who want to make change have to be those who are willing to make the change, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Bruh, let's go. My homegirl's gravesite was etched in stone. I was just crazy and just wanted to be left alone. Now I'm sober with a girlfriend and I'm deathly broke. Can't take her nowhere like she got Tourette syndrome. This post-traumatic stress that buries my mind. That's why I'm strapped. It's like, bruh, I swear he's he's talking to me right now, man. Alone. Now I'm sober with a girlfriend and I'm deathly broke. Can't take her nowhere like she got Tourette syndrome. So you're talking about, yo. Now it's over with with, with with a with a girlfriend and I'm I'm fucking dead ass broke. I can't take her nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, daddy a hey, sometimes it be like that, man. It, it it's a it's a whole struggle, man, dealing with some of these some of these women. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. This post-traumatic stress that buries my mind That's why I'm strapped It's like multiplication How I just carry this nine And if you win the dope game with various crimes You're set to get busted Like how a woman's cherries designed We all go through hard times That affect and finesse our feelers And bless with the essence skill And I'm pressing the message realer And step on the wretched's will And he's not wrong We all do indeed go through some hard times Everyone has a struggle I don't care who you are Where you're from you know what I'm saying? And how, how Billy Badass you think you are. Everyone goes through some form of struggle, man. That is facts. You know what I mean? But some of us, <clears throat> you know what I mean? We handle it better than, than others. You know what I mean? Some some of us, you know, use it as an opportunity to see who um who, who's really, you know, our friends and who's really isn't. You know what I'm saying? And um, some of us use it as an excuse to take our anger and our frustrations out on those who don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there. You know, I mean, all these little things that I'm just, you know, describing right now. Trust me, you know somebody who's doing that that kind of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know someone that, uh, you know, is going through a struggle, and rather than, you know, being great grateful for those who are helping them, you know, they um, they tend to show they tend to show their true colors. We'll put it that way. All right, people. When people go through a struggle, they tend to show their true colors. They tend to show who they really are. I'm just saying. Let's invest in and bless the healers. Me and pops will always bring you the blues like a Mexi dealer. Come on, let's roll and cruise through my mind. And again, shout out to pops. I like that little shout out right there to pops. Talking about yo, him and pops are always gonna bring that blues. You know what I mean, brothers? Go. Look at all my wins and look at my losses. I can say I tried for why God. Can't nobody tell me shit. I can't stop this. Let's roll and cruise through my mind. Look at all my wins and look at my losses. I can say I tried for why God. Can't nobody tell me shit. I can't stop this. Love that blues guitar from Pops. Let's go. All right, y'all. So that was Wild Card with the title track, Western Promises, from the title with the same name. And yeah, man, I love this one so far, man. Definitely a different vibe, a different sound from Card. Well, it's 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 still that same Wild Card vein as far as his like flavor of of hip hop music, which I like to course dub as blues hop music. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so yeah, man. Um, I can't wait to check out the rest of the album, so y'all can't either. So let me go ahead and just say yes, I do lo love this song so far. Now let's go ahead. And make our way to the next track. Six and a half hours late. Alright, y'all. After a few painstaking minutes of having to switch web browsers, because again, Google can't handle, you know, YouTube playlists. 
bruh. Google Google got got some issues. But anyway, <clears throat> we are on to the next track on the wild cards uh, latest drop, Western Promises. Track number two is simply called The Chaser. Let's go ahead and get right into this one by liking the hit hit. Go. Have you heard the tapes? Have you even heard them? We're guaranteed a record deal. Our stuff is that good. I tried to tell you that I do this shit used to this. I've been wild since a youngster. I'm surrounded by this garbage like a child in the dumpster. Ooh. If your woman likes my music, you can kiss your girl goodbye. You don't want to smoke like ex addicts who used to twirl the pipe. I'm a f Ooh, I like this one, man. This one got like an old school, kind of an early 90s type vibe. Like that beat has got a, a nice retro vintage feel to it. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like something that I would hear like like back in the early days of rap and hip hop. It's like that old school style of um like 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 that West Coast type of style. Like I can hear Ice Cube on this beat. I can hear Pac on this beat. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. I'm all about it. Let's go. Fire breathing dragon out of Southern California. All my northwest people know that I just love a man to door. Plus my East Coast homies. I just hope to make the dopest hip hop. But now I'm old as fucking trying to navigate through TikTok. Yo, get got like Chris Rock, so crisscross. My, my man trying to figure out the uh, freaking tick of my talks. The uh, TikTok. Bruh, don't tell me you're going into that, that TikTok trend, man. Bruh. Let's go. Kick rocks, I pick locks. I'm pissed off like Tim Roth and Chris. I like that scheme, man. I'm pissed off, so kick rocks. <laughs> I want to hear that back. Trying to navigate through TikTok, you'll get got like Chris Rock, so Chris Cross or kick rocks. I pick and Chris Rock and Chris Cross. Man, I'm, I'm gonna be going so fast with the scheme, it's hard to keep up. Locks, I'm pissed off like Tim Roth and Gridlock. The big dog will lift off and click lock. So I'm pissed off like Jim Roth and Gridlock. Yo, yo. I, that reminds me, I need to get that movie Gridlock, man, because I got I got pock in it. Let's go. Boxes, bitch shots, your chick stops to lick cocks and switched off for lip. Oh, he talking about licking cocks? Like, damn, bro. Gloss, I used to always sell them CDs, but shit has changed. Everybody's streaming as I see my error slip away. But I can't complain like fuck it, gotta adjust with the times. Cause you gotta do a lot more than just bust the dopest rhymes. I'm adjusting and becoming like a slut of views and likes. And if Talking about, yo, you gotta adjust with the times, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's a game of rap and hip-hop. He's like, yeah, I'm adjusting with the times by being a, 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 a slut for the views and the clicks, bro. The higher numbers than I want it in my life. Everyone can put out music now, it's oversaturated, and attention spans are shorter than versions ejaculated. Every Bruh, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. It's like it's, it's crazy. Like, everyone can put out music now, it's so oversaturated. He's not wrong. It is oversaturated, and that's why uh, a lot of people have short attention spans. Facts, facts, because there's only so much music that people have time to listen to. You know what I mean? It's like you got to do something that is so amazing, that is so top-notch, so unique, so different in order to grab people's attention. You know what I mean? Because, again, it's over. It's an oversaturated market. Bruh, let's go. Everyone's got distribution, sponsored ads, and puts out trash. I'm not trying to stop your dreams. I'm just hoping my skills will last. And they all want to go by. said, man, some of the stuff they be putting out, man, is trash. I'm not trying to, you know, kill any dreams or anything. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to make sure I'm, I'm the one that, that, that's, that's lasting in this game. And rightfully so, man. I mean, dude's mic still speak for itself. I mean, Wildcard is such a phenomenal artist, man. Bro, let's go. Viral, mama mia, I would hope the only way you're going viral's gonorrhea of the throat, motherfucker. Go off Ooh. like they lace my weed. Go and off. Won't stop, you can't take my seat. Won't stop. Don't knock, you can't break Go my streak. And I used to chase dragons, now I chase my dreams. I'm a... I like that. I used to chase dragons, now I chase my dreams. Let's go. Go off like they lace my weed. Go off. Won't stop, you can't take my seat. Won't stop. Don't knock, you can't break my streak. And I used to chase dragons, now I chase my dreams. When they listen to my... I gotta say, uh, someone... I, I forgot who it was, but Wildcard put up a post um, of an album review somebody else did. And they said that this is probably one of his most uh, mature albums that he's ever put out. I have to agree. I have to agree, man. My, it, my man's definitely coming in with, with a somewhat different vibe. It's still the same familiar wild card sound, but he's coming in with a much more mature vibe. You know what I'm saying? Bro, let's go. My music brains are blowing out your melon and my bass is murdering the trunk like scenes from Alcatellas. Now I got an instrumental from my homie Al Capella, but my hostages got out. Like, what you doing out the cellar? Get the fuck back in the base before you get the hoes again. I can't wait to be on tour so I can get these hoes again. And I never can stop rapping. I'm coming to write vengeance because the pin won't let me go like I'm serving a life sentence. But the money. Ooh, I like that. I can never stop writing because the pin be serving me like a life sentence. 
Bruh, I like that. That goes to show just how committed my man is to 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 the craft, to the art. You know what I'm saying, bruh, bruh. Y'all, if y'all haven't heard Wildcard before, man, if y'all are are interested enough and curious enough to to learn more about Wildcard, man, go subscribe to the homie's channel. I will have the playlist link in the description down below. So absolutely no excuse as to why you can't go to the man's channel and check him out and hear what he has to say, man. Such an underrated artist, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that is is heavily sleep slept on, in my opinion. And people need to stop sleeping on my on my homie, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying it because he's the homie. No, my man truly is a quality artist, and he puts out quality music. You know what I'm saying, man? Y'all y'all need to go hit him up, man. You've been hiding under a rock or whatever, you know what I mean, Bruh, You need to get out of that rock. You know what I'm saying? Do yourselves a favor. I'm saying, go support the homie. Money isn't lavish, yo, I always dream of purchases As long as I help people, I can finally see my purpose in this Unpredictable career, but I can see my worth in it Wish we could just be two room with these streaming services I'm union for the movies, there's no union for the music So these people make Calling out the Me Too movement Making billions while they use us and abuse us Yo, it's probably like some labels when they doing you like Judas And they feed you little bits of bread like doing a communion Yo, I can't my man talking on the music industry talking about yo how some of these labels be doing you dirty by only giving you just a little piece of the bread and this is why i stress you know stay independent because everything you put out you own and every every piece of revenue that 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 comes your way from your art from your craft that's all coming to you you're not splitting it up with any label or anything if anything you're probably splitting it with your distribution but your distribution depending on who you go with they're not going to take that much they're only going to take just a small small portion compared to what you're going to take bruh let's go guess continue payment for my music isn't bad and i gotta learn to save the music money that i have but the holidays are lonely when i'm by myself i'm asking hookers if they're having black friday sales is why i'm called bruh <laughs> Uh, he said the holidays are hard when you're by yourself. So I'm, a I'm asking hookers if they're having Black Friday sales. Damn. Damn, bro. That's harsh. Let's go. Go off like they lace my weed. Go off. Won't stop. You can't take my seat. Won't stop. Don't knock. You can't break my streak. And I used to chase dragons. Now I chase my dreams. Mm. Go off like they lace my weed. Go off. You can't take my seat. Won't stop. Don't knock. You can't break my streak. And I used to chase dragons. Now I chase my dreams. Mm. Uh, imagine if you would have started rapping though, bro. Right as social media got big. You know what I mean? It's sort of like the first decade we missed a window on just spreading your name like wildfire. And now that social media's been out, it's hard. Oh man, I wish I wish I didn't hear the word wildfire because um I was gonna say real quick, shout out to everyone in Maui, you know what I mean, who um who basically endured that wildfire out there? Uh, shout out to Tater Monkey because she stays out of Maui, um, and got got be with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing but prayers and positive eyes for y'all. Hard to get your name out there because there's so many goddamn names, right? But man, you're fucking 100 percent better than every of all these goddamn rappers now, dude. Every single fucking one of them. Man, all right, y'all. So that was the Chaser. Another solid entry. Um, on the uh, Western Promises album from Wildcard, and uh, yeah, definitely like this one too. That's why I hit the like. Um, there are 16 tracks on the album. However, there is one song that we will be skipping um, because I already did a, a separate reaction for it. So yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to track number three. All right, y'all. So we are on track number three. This one being called "The Rim." Hmm, I wonder if there are going to be some Above the Rib uh, references in this one. I guess we'll find out when we get to hearing this piece. So without further ado, y'all, let's just go ahead and jump right in by liking the hit here. Go. <laughs> Yeah. Raise your hand if you've been jealous of other people's success. I know I have with rapping. That's something I will confess. Now it's that a trip. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Your boy ain't perfect. I'd be jealous of other people's successes, too, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But, hey. You know, I, I still work. I still do, you know, the absolute best that I can. You know what I mean? Because, yo, your boy trying to make it out here, man. Your boy, your boy starving. Your boy hungry, man. We, 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 we trying to live, you know, the, the, uh, our, our best lives. You know what I'm saying? By working. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Ripping on people and moves that they're making. I face my fears, cut off my ass, and just use it as motivation. Yo, it's been a dream forever. I've done it and reached lovely levels. But I got to stay in they face and just keep coming, leaving all these heathen. 
Facts, facts. I like what you said right there, man. Talking about, yeah, you know, hey, it, it, it is a struggle when you're trying to get your name out there, trying to get your voice out there, but you just got to keep at it, man. You just got to keep plugging away, and before you know it, you, you start elevating up to new levels, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I may not be where, where I want to be, but you know what? I cannot discount the blessings that came from me doing my thing, you know what I mean? Look, I mean, look at the attention of all the people that that, that, that I gotten, you know what I mean? Like, Kung Fu Vampire, when I, when I reacted to his stuff. I got Ryan Upchurch's attention because I reacted to his stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, the homie Wildcard, to be fair, me and him always kind of knew each other before I even did YouTube, before he knew that I did YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And me and him, we, we've we been, um, I want to say, we, we've been tighter ever since. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I've been putting him, you know what I'm saying, in the spotlight. You know what I mean? And trying to, you know, get him, help get his name out there. You know what I mean? It helped blow him up. You know what I'm saying? And my man's doing pretty well. I mean, he is, for a while, he was around uh, 2K subs. Now he's at 3.31K subs. You know what I'm saying? I may have some some small portion to do with that. You know what I mean? I may have some, you know, a little bit, a little tiny bit of help with that. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? But either way, you know, I'm just doing my part because, hey, I want, I want to see my peoples make it. I want to see my homies make it. You know what I'm saying? But even if that means... Me possibly not making it, although I'm not trying to have that negative mindset because, yo, I believe that I will make it, you know what I'm saying, by doing what I do, you know what I mean, because I'm a firm believer in karma, you know what I'm saying, bruh, let's go. Think creeping deceivers just be bloody, get my dick attached to your girl's head like a sleep study, yo, I'm not my- Damn. Bruh, I'm not gonna repeat that, but damn. Occasion all my haters beg me to stop. I keep it tighter than some women doing kegels to drop. But I gotta make some money, got a regular job. But if a chick slops on me, this ain't no regular knob. Dog a wild card, they say I'm under. So, yo, I gotta make some money, so I got a regular job while I'm doing my thing. And uh, the, the, and this chick, she trying to... Trying to slob on me like it's a regular knob. Damn. Yo, man, he tried to do that whole uh, slob on the knob, like corn on the cob type of rhyme right there. I see what you did there, card. Let's go. Discovered and hoped that they ain't fucking with my lines like a recovering cokehead on my new shit. And I'm coming back in black. Even my enemies are like, he can rap, I'll give him that. When I was laying in the cut, staying. I like that, yo. I'm coming back in black. Even my enemies be like, yo, he can rap. I can give him that. Quiet. It's only when I got back up, I felt like I had slayed Goliath. Wasn't mad at them. I was really mad at myself for putting all my own talent and my skills on the shelf. If I never make a full blown living at this shit, at least I can feel better that I never fucking quit. When you do what is your calling? I like that. I like that, man. Even if I never make a real living, at least I can go the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Knowing that I tried, you know what I mean? I put in a, a real effort in trying to make it doing what I love to do. I love that. And that's what it's about at the end of the day, man. Yes, you, you do need money to survive. Yes, money is a good thing because, you know, yeah, you you, you because of what you can use it for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sheltering yourself, clothing yourself, feeding yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you can also use money to help out others. You know what I'm saying? Which is what my intent is. If I make it, that's what my intent is. You know what I mean? First establish myself, get my life in order first, and then... <clears throat> and then use my money to help others that are less fortunate than I am. You know what I'm saying? And there's a huge reward. I almost set myself on fire just to feel some fucking warmth, yo. Ooh. Damn, man. Almost set himself on fire just to feel some warmth? Man. Bruh. sounds like 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 a either like like a military type of chant or a native chant you know what i mean a native tribe type chant or a combination of the two rather bruh let's go they say i cuss too much and never get no radio airtime always got some pushback like my goddamn hairline when rappers get closer we say man never get no radio airtime <laughs> so that, and that's why i always get pushed back like my hairline bruh Man, fuck the radio. You don't, you don't need radio anymore. Let's go. Compare lines, I feel them full of fear, like what 9 11 did to them airlines. And all the people around me know I've always had some talent, but just giving them my all was still a motherfucking challenge. Then I did give it my all and lost my motherfucking balance. Fell off. No more lovers there to toss my fucking salad. My whole life. Ooh, that's 
a bar right there, man. I'm talking about, yo. I've always had the talent, but I never gave it my all. You know what I'm saying? Because I was too busy, you know, lo losing my balance. You know what I mean? And and that's what led to the fall. Bam! Let's go. Like people were like, you should apply yourself. Then I try, then I stop. Take some rides through hell. When you're dope, you think you don't have to do much because you're a natural. If you don't put the effort. But in the time I march right past you, I make music for kids that are running from cop cars and the kids that are just cutters, their body has got scars to the people mm. that were popular. He goes, man, I'm making that music for everybody, including the uh, kids that be going through a struggle, you know what I mean? And, and, are, and thinking that they don't have much of a future, you know what I mean? And that they and they plan on just throwing their life away because they, they don't think they have really much of a future. Bruh, like, man, I'm living proof that, yes, you can have a future, you know what I mean? You just got to find your calling. That is up to you. You it's up to you to find your calling in life. You know what I'm saying, bruh? So don't give up. Never give up. You know what I mean, bruh? Let's go. And licking the nympho, the ending up in psych wars, just licking the window. Or anyone who feels some of the points that I'm making, some don't have a crazy life, but enjoy it as entertainment. Live your life, follow your heart, and homie, take that chance. Go and ask that pretty woman that you like if she'll dance. Ladies, get yourself a man who is treating you right, not someone who's nice and day and then he beats you at night. Or... Facts, facts, you know what I'm saying, fellas, get yourself a real woman, someone that's gonna appreciate you. And ladies, y'all need to quit playing games, quit hooking up with dudes that are mistreating you you know what i mean that are putting their hands on you you know what i mean they put on this mask you know what i mean they play nice with you at first and then they end up abusing you you know what i mean bruh be with a real man that's going to treat you right because you deserve to be treated right you, be, you deserve to be treated with love and respect being physical with you does not equal love you know what i'm saying as far as like the physical abuse is concerned that's not a man being a man that is a man being a pussy you know what i'm saying bruh Let's go. Get yourself a man whore, cause we'll fuck up your brains. The only problem is we don't know. <laughs> he said, man, get you a man whore, because we'll fuck out your brains. Damn. Know how to love you the same, yo. Oh, my Lord. No more. My Lord. Lord, I never. Shout out to Pops with that beautiful, beautiful guitar. Bro, let's go. Alright y'all, so that was Wildcard with The Rim. Definitely match the like on that one, because I do like like this one too, thus far. I love it because mostly because of the the message behind it, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is definitely a more mature Wildcard release, you know, for, at least from what I'm hearing so far. Um, I definitely love the message that he's coming out with, man. Talking about, you know, hey look man, times may be tough, you know what I'm saying? You may be going through a struggle trying to accomplish your dream trying to accomplish your goals and live your dream and everything but don't give up keep pushing keep pressing on i love that message you know what i'm saying because hey he's not perfect as he's admitted he's not perfect he's been through struggle you know what i mean a lot of it is self-inflicted but my man has learned to pull himself out of it and is doing much better for himself putting out that sweet sweet quality music you know what i'm saying that real quality music that that the music game has been lacking sorely you know what i'm saying bruh so yeah definitely with this one now let's go ahead and get into the next track one eternity later all right y'all had to wait another few pain stinking minutes because my computer decided it's uh decided to tell me yeah um i don't recognize your internet so i'm just gonna go ahead and um disconnect from it forcing you to have to reboot <sighs> bruh bruh why why do elements gotta work against me when I need them to function with me to do an album review, man. Bruh. The struggle of a content creator, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, enough of all that. We are on to the fourth track of Wildcard's latest drop, Western Promises. 
The next track that is up on deck is simply called Pink Diamonds. Interesting title. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. The reason I'm kind of like going through all of these tracks, again, I don't know if, if I mentioned this earlier in the top of the video because, you know, my memory is not what it used to be. But um, there are 16 tracks, so I'm kind of trying to go through them, you know, as quickly as I can because I don't want the video to be too long. It's already going to be a long video, I can tell. And then I'll give my overall final thoughts on the album as a whole, you know what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and get into Western Promises before I lose my shit. So without further ado, like the hit hit. Yo, this beat's giving me some old school Tupac vibes. Like, um, what's that song with uh, Left Eye? Well, he had, well, not with Left Eye, but a song he did for Left Eye. Uh, Can You Get Away? I'm getting the Can You Get Away vibes on this one. Pressure. Left, left in state of depression. Your days are numbered. You under pressure. pressure. Left, left in state of depression. Your days are numbered. You under pressure. Back in 07, my first album, Dark Night of the Soul. I was just newly sober. Hey, I like the call back to Dark Night of the Soul. Say back in 07, my first record, Dark Night of the Soul. You haven't heard Dark Night of the Soul? You can now listen to it on Walkard's channel. It is listed with all of his releases. Yes, all his releases are on his channel. I'd encourage y'all to go check out Dark Knight of the Soul, man. Classic wild card album. It is one of my personal favorites. Let's go. After spark and ice in a bowl. Few months later, me and poet dropped that setting the bar and mad kids love to smoke and get. Oh yeah, the setting the bar. That was um, wild card and dead poets uh, duo album. That was their partnered album. That wild card ended up finishing up uh, solo because, uh, well, as he would put it. Uh, poet uh, kind, of, kind of decided they, they really need, need some cash so he went to the bank to make a deposit of some sorts and um, that caused him to uh, take a little vacation if you will anyway getting head in a car it's like some medicine with pops red is electric guitar if you don't follow your passion you can forget who you are in 2012 i dropped the odyssey and let it go far and no one can outshine me Yo, so he's talking about all of his drops, man. So he just mentioned the Odyssey. Okay. Passion, you can forget who you are. In 2012, I dropped the Odyssey and let it go far. And no one can outshine me like the moon set to the stars. And then I'm... Odyssey is another solid record. That is the, the record where you, you'll, you'll find songs like, of course, the yeah, title song, The Odyssey, which is a dope song. And uh, Suicide King Blues. Another solid, solid record. You know what I mean? Bro, let's go. That hella connections and I traveled hella places and I met a lot of lovers and I came on hella faces and I met some real ass rappers and I met some hella basic. Nowadays, if you don't like someone, you're called a jealous racist. But back then, we were just told. Ooh, my man's speaking on some real spill right now, man. Talking about, yo, if you don't like somebody, you know, back then, you didn't like it. You, you just didn't like the person. You know what I mean? Nowadays, it's something deeper than that. You're either some kind of hater or... You know, you're or you're you're a racist of some kind. Facts. Or from Albuquerque to Berkeley to the East in 2050s when I relapsed, I was flirting with disaster. Quit making cuss like I'm avoiding burpees, and I met a lot more lovers narrowly avoiding herpes. I know. I, I like what you said right there, talking about yo. Um, after these drops, you know what I mean. I kind of you know avoided making more cuts, like I'm avoiding burpees. <laughs> I see what he did there. You know what I mean? Because it became something like 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 he had to do. It was like a like 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 a freaking job. You know what I mean? It's like 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 pretty much like like a like a workout. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's something that you have to do because you know it's good for you. You know what I'm saying? But then you're avoiding doing that. You know what I mean? Like like yo, like I get some kind of chore or something, bro. God didn't desert me, but he said, enjoy the learning consequences stacking up as I just watched the foil burning. Had some standoffs and the cops and gangsters both wanted to murk me. Women wrapped their lips around me like they were enjoying slurpees. Was addicted to the lifestyle. Bruh, he said, man, he was at standoffs with cops and gangs. Like they wanted to murk him. You know what I mean? And they got their, like, you know what I mean? Like they got their lips wrapped around him. Like they enjoy slurpees. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The honest truth will sting. Still a poltergeist of mice. That's what this haunted music brings. If you poltergeist, he does. I think he does have a song called Poltergeist, if I'm not mistaken. If memory serves, and I believe it's on the Odyssey album, if memory serves. I could be wrong about that. It's either that album or it might be Dark Knight of the Soul. I tend to get those two albums mixed up. But anyway. 
You hate on this, don't matter, doesn't constitute a thing. Cause mad hoes still going down like busted prostitution rings. Y'all in love, I never fell. Okay, you going down like, like busted prostitution rings? Damn. This way, before the music, I just always had some hell to pay. I found an outlet and my problems always fell away. Now every single chance I get, I'm going to melt the stage and melt your brain. And love, I never fell. I like that, man. Yo, I used to be, you know, a troublesome person. Now I want to be this this artist that melts the stage. You know what I'm saying, bruh? You know what I mean? Not only melt the stage, but melt your brain with the stuff that I'm coming out with. Bruh, let's go. Felt this way before the music. I just always had some hell to pay. I found an outlet and then my problems always fell away. Now every single chance I get, I'm going to melt the stage and melt your brain. In 2020, dog, I finally dropped the fucking war. Self-titled told me keep on dropping. Pro Shout out to the war album. There's another solid drop. Projects and I'll soar. People were just apprehensive because the cover had the pentagram. Like if you listen, it'll cremate you and turn you into sand. My single Prince of Avengers ran numbers. Wow, really? I, I didn't know he, um, people, oh yeah, no, I think he did talk about it on a Facebook Live, where people had some issues with the, with the cover because of the, uh, pentagram that, that was on it, but, what's that old saying? Never judge a book by its cover, or in this case, never judge an album by its cover. Listen to it. Listen to the message that he's trying to tell you in these records, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, don't just look at a cover and be like, oh, dude is a Satanist now, he's worshipping Satan or whatever the fuck, no. Listen to the record. Just listen to it. And I made instant fans rushing like syringes. Mama told me be a simple man. I hit your bitch on Instagram and now we making dinner plans. And if her mouth can't catch all this cum, then both the dimples can. I met that pretty East Coast chick who looked like Liga. Yo, my man like, 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 like to be dirty with it, man. He like to get, um... A little, little porn hubbish with it. I'm just saying. The rim and nod, the mood is swinging savagely like bipolar Gemini's. I'm concentrating, complicated, way too much to simplify. Drop shot of work in 21. Not how I felt with Kim and Dodd and Cabin Pressure 2022 to send up in the sky. Hey, shout out to the Cabin Pressure album. I'm I'm pretty sure he mentioned uh, um, Shadow Work. Um, I probably missed it. Um, but shout out to the Shadow Work album, and not just because your boy is on it, but um. No, it's a, no, another solid record. Cabin Pressure, another dope record. And yeah, let's go. Uh, bangers like some bathtub crank to come and stimulate your mind. I'm not famous, but I grind and ignite rhythms. And I'm a rap until all I see is green like night vision. Yo, but this is Western Promises. I bleed this rap shit. Please share with all your people so we reach these masses. Cruising down the street with all these fucking CDs blasting. Gangsters see blue and red like some 3D glasses. And I hope I reach... Gangsta see blue and red like some 3D glasses, bruh. Let's the go. people and they get this rhythm. I seen a bunch of naked women without X-ray vision. I'm grateful for the music and the chicks that laid with me and their twats were warm and welcoming, just like an AA meeting. So y'all. Well, damn, damn. See, man, man the, he, these girls, um, pinks. I see why you call it pink diamonds. The girls, pinks, be welcoming. Like an AA meeting, bruh. Love, I never felt this way. Before the music, I just always had some hell to pay. I found an outlet and then my problems always fell away. Now every single chance I get, I'm going to melt the stage and melt your brain. And love, I never felt this way. Before the music, I just... The one thing I always got to give Card uh, compliments on is his hooks. My man definitely knows how to make his hooks. Man, let's go. Always had some hell to pay. I found an outlet and then my problems always fell away. Now every single chance I get, I'm going to melt the stage and melt your brain. I'm in love, I never felt this way. Before the music, I just always had some hell to pay. I found an outlet and then my problems always fell away. Now every single chance I get, I'm going to melt the stage and melt your brain. Pressure. 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 All right, y'all. So that was Wild Card with Pink Diamonds. Um, had, to, had to go back and double check because we're already on to the next track. But uh, yeah, man. Um, I'll go back and I'll hit the like on that. But hey, we're already here on the next track. And yeah, I do like Pink Diamonds. Y'all like it too. Hey, y'all go hit it up. Better yet, yo, y'all go get yourselves a copy, man. Because so far, I don't know about y'all, but. And I'm not just saying this because it's the homie, you know what I'm saying? But I have not heard a track I don't like yet, you know what I'm saying? However, we still got 
another let's see what track is this track number five 16 tracks total minus the one we already did so that'll be 15 tracks minus the five we already did so that's 10 more tracks left so still plenty of album to go through you know what i'm saying but so far every song that i've heard up until this point has been nothing short of fire yeah so yeah definitely glad that i got myself a copy which i believe is right here autograph copy you can't see the autograph because my man wrote it in black marker i don't know why but anyway i think because my dude was trying to be funny hardy har har i guess <clears throat> but anyway <laughs> phil if you watch this don't mind me man i'm just giving you shit um <laughs> but yeah guys uh so far i'm with the album next track up on deck is a song simply called cali driver I, which I kind I find kind of funny because hey your boy be from Cali why why couldn't I have been a feature on this one I'm just saying um, of course I, I could always do a remix if I really want to I'm just saying but anyway <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get into this one track number five Cali Driver from Wildcard from his latest drop Western Promises without further ado I'd like to hear here go <clears throat> welcome to California. See, this would have been perfect for me, man. This would have been right up my alley. But anyway. Purchasing shoddies for perpetrators versus ungodly. The serpents that saw me immersed inside this merciless hobby. The curse of Indrani, deserving the hottie. Curves on the body, dick is going in and out just like the service is spotty. I'm Ooh, man, my man already coming in hot with this crazy scheme based off of his name, Andrade, the curse of Andrade. Bruh, let's go. Murder them bodies, get green like I'm raging for Celtic season. Ain't taking no wells, my people are pacing in cells and grieving. If I had a Christian girlfriend, she'd say that it's so egregious. Cause she wouldn't let me smash, she was saving herself for Jesus. I'd be jealous cause I want to be your number one. But fuck it, guess I'll just stick with these suchis. But none of them can be trusted, bitch, yo, fuck a ho Yeah, man, ain't that, ain't that crazy, man? It's like, you can get yourself a, a, a Christian girl who you know is going to be a good girl. But she's saving herself for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But then you... But then you can't wait, so instead you rather go and mess around with, with these with these dirty hoochies, you know what I'm saying? But then you can't trust them because you don't know if they're 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 gonna stab you, they're gonna rob you, or whatever the case. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Let's go. Whole gang, they caught it on candy cam, have bees all in. Bruh, talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, I'm just saying. These hoochies, but none of them can be trusted, bitch. Oh, fuck a whole gang. They caught it on candy cam, have bees all in their mouth like the bitch was just candy, man. I got tools. <laughs> Oh, uh, whole, whole bees in her mouth like the bitch's candy man. <laughs> Damn. Like a handyman, and I ain't never about drama. If the bitch a wicked witch, then I'm. So, like a handyman, I'm never about drama. Okay. I ain't never about drama. If the bitch a wicked witch, then I'ma drop the house on her. <laughs> if your chick, the, the, if your bitch the uh, wicked witch, then I'ma drop the house on her. I like the Wizard of Oz reference. Let's go. But if she nice to me, then I'ma put my mouth on her. Put two fingers up her like signaling scouts on her. My ex had left immediately gobbled a cock. It makes me miss her because I know she gave the sloppiest top. I can't believe you. My man ain't, ain't, ain't afraid to get X-rated with it. I know I made some jokes about it before. I'm going to still keep joking on it because, hey, I'm with it, man. To me, this, this is rap. This is hip hop, man. Being raw, being gritty. I can't knock it because, yo, this is what I grew up listening to, you know what I'm saying? And I still love listening to it, man. That makes me a, a, a whole dirty-ass mofo, and so be it. Did me like this once your body to rot Like, bitch, I gave you hella years like you shot at a cop Wow, follow me to the edge of That's crazy, bitch. I gave you hella years like I shot at the cop. Damn. Time in the rain, no driving slow. No driving Cause I'm a California driver, baby. I won't stop even when I lose control. Yeah, I, lose I control. said, follow me to the edge of time. In the rain, no driving slow. No driving Cause I'm a California slow. driver, baby. I won't stop. I hope the angels save my mm. soul. Angels save I'm my on soul. that mani shit that bag it out and blow chunks out his brain with it. That blame him with it. Snitches dropping clues like. Oh, we got a feature on here. Who is this? Cali Driver featuring... Oh, this is AWACS. Okay. So we got AWACS as a feature. 
like someone famous did it. Heavy hitter like Otani. Try me, had them angels with him. You ain't about this life, then watch your mouth and don't get tangled in it. California driver, not someone you won't collide with. Fuck about my trap if you ain't sure you trying to buy shit. Sipping on some slimy while I'm smoking on obnoxious. If you spending all your money to get high, you want some knock shit. Wouldn't last a minute. My man coming with a, with a crazy flow on this one. Although, it, it, it does sound a little choppy to me. That's really my only critique on it. But other than that, man, I mean, not not bad. Let's go. Around the killers who I rock with. Flexing on the gram. We hit that back door like a locksmith. Seemed like only yesterday. They had me up, stay boxed in. Don't got no favorite rappers. Only oppers in my top ten. Follow me to the edge of time. And there ain't no driving slow. No driving slow. Cause I'm a California driver, baby, I won't stop Even when I lose control I said follow me to the edge of time And there ain't no driving slow Cause I'm a California driver, baby, I won't stop I hope the angels save my soul Yo, I said the West of me is weaponry My rhymes will make your brain freeze like method said, said the Western me is my weaponry Man the play on words, man. And I love this hook, too. Let's we know STDs the way I always came clean. I made some money in the fucking streets, and then it changed me. Was getting G's all off the street. Like it's a gang sweep. I'm picking beats. I flip the speech like Crooked Eye, and they wax like Ricky Deets and rap. Hey, shout out to Crooked Eye. I know my man did a song with Crooked Eye on one of his recent drops. I believe it was the War album where he did a song with Crooked Eye. Man, let's go. The rates evaporate. Yo, shout out to my man for. You know, being able to do some records with some legends. He got he got Crooked Eye on the track, and he got Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony on the track, man, bruh. My man making the moves. He making the moves, man. Let's go. Good eye and they wax like Ricky Deets and rapid rates evaporate the racetrack. I take these psychiatric meds. I was psychotic way back. And now they say they got their face smashed by a J cat. I navigate a rapid slower. Usually my pace fast. Encapsulate the cats that rep LA to Oakland. Ace has the tragic age where fiends will shoot up dope until they veins crash. And now the drugs are crawling through an attic like they HVAC. From left to right, we scheming in the dead of night. Man, he just rhymed Oakland A's hat with an HVAC. Damn. Damn. Hey. Oakland A's. They, they, they a Bay Area squad. I'm a Bay Area supporter. So, yo, shout out to the Oakland A's. Shout out to the San Francisco Giants. Let's go. Just fiending epileptics might be screaming from the hectic sites. They see it on these motherfucking tracks. I'm just exercising demons. Punks drink Haterade because there's electrolytes and semen, motherfucker. Follow. Ooh, I like that, folks. Uh, folks be drinking the uh, hater ray because there's electrolytes and semen. Damn. Be to the edge of time, and there ain't no driving slow. Cause I'm a California driver, baby. I won't stop even when I lose control. I said, follow me to the edge of time, and there ain't no driving slow. Cause I'm a California driver, baby, I won't stop I hope the angels save my soul Angels save my soul Woo! Beautiful hook, man, I love that hook So that was Wildcard with Cali Driver Definitely matching the like on this Cause I do like this one Again, so far, I have not heard a track that I don't like yet But then again, I think I said the same thing on, on Cabin Pressure And I think it was towards the end of uh, Cabin Pressure Where I did find a couple of songs that I wasn't feeling necessarily but uh, so like I said, man, we still got plenty of album to look at. So let's go ahead and get into track number six. All right, y'all. So we are on track number six. This song being called Nightmares. And again, for those in the back who don't listen very well, uh, this is from Wildcard's latest drop, Western Promises. Let's go ahead and get into some nightmares. And no, I'm not talking about Kung Fu, Vampires, Nightmare Walking. I'm just saying. So without further ado, I'd like to hit hit. Go. Everybody dies in their nightmares Do not make a sound when it's your turn Ooh. Everybody dies in their nightmares Do not make a sound yeah. when it's your turn when I I kind of like the way this comes in. It, it gives me some Nightmare on Elm Street vibes. We're talking about everyone dies in their nightmares. And the way that hook was done, it it, it, it gives me a Tech 9 type of vibe. This sounds like some early Tech 9. Maybe KOD is what I'm thinking. Like Tech 9 KOD vibes, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, anyway. I was young, I was wicked on the drugs, and the rhythm was stuck. I was 20 years old, taking no advice. I was given in a fight for the mission, and the pipe I was hitting was cold, and I had. Oh, yeah, my man coming in with that chopper flow. That is nice. 
Yeah. When I was young, I was wicked on the drugs and the rhythm was stuck. I was 20 years old, taking no advice. I was given in a fight for the mission in the pipe. I was hitting was cold and I had to get clean, had a rehab date. But I wanted to get high just one more time. Got a motherfucking joint that was laced in like a bad woman. I hit it one too many times. So what happened next? Ooh. Again, my man talking about the uh, struggles he was, he was enduring. Talking about, yo, I want to get clean, but... I, I kind of want to get high just one more time. I got, you know, what I mean, let me get this, this this last hurrah in, and then that's it. I'm getting myself, I'm getting myself together. You know what I mean? And I'm getting back on, jumping back on that horse. You know what I'm saying? Putting out some new music. Bruh, let's go. Cause I felt possession, I saw these demons come alive And I jumped up quick and I knew I was in trouble And I felt this pain so terrified And I ran outside, saw the reaper on the wall And I thought to myself, oh god, I won't make it Cause death was coming for me Like a motherfucking rapper when he dropped his location No disrespect, but I opened up a portal And I felt my heart die in that room After all these years of playing with the dark And putting those shards inside a spoon It finally came back to me, thought it was a rap for me Cause I know karma's like a goon And when it be coming, it's coming so tough Surround me with darkness like the moon This is the Man, he, he, he ain't wrong about that, man. But, yo, again, kudos to my man for, you know, getting himself clean, getting himself sober, you know what I'm saying, so he can put out more of that quality music. And Because, and, man, like I said, man, this is what the game needs right now. The game needs that real quality quality music, you know what I mean? That that music that, that has a, that, that serves a greater purpose, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that has a message to it that people need to hear. You know what I mean? So they don't fall through the cracks. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. The very true story of the day it all changed for me and God's what I needed. The day I saw the devil in death trying to pull my car like a tarot card reading. One thing I will forever just know is you gotta watch out when your spirit's exposed. And listen to the signs and your intuition and remember to protect your soul. Protect your soul. Everybody dies in their nightmares. Ooh, man. Crazy verse. And we're going into that hook again. Again, it's giving me Tech 9 KOD vibes. Do not make a sound when it's your turn. Everybody dies in their nightmares. Do not make a sound. Yeah, when, when I was young, sure they wanna be a thug, and my father back then was a criminal type with a sensitive wife. That's why I'm romantic at heart, but steady stay clenching a knife, and I spent my whole life thinking. Said his father was a criminal type with a sensitive wife, and that's why he has that love in his heart, bruh. And vengeance is mine and I enter the night with syringes and pipes And back then I run around with people that'll beat you up within an inch of your life It was sending us the times in the 626 with a crystal sniff And I flip my switch with the 666 Talking about rolling with a, with, a, with a bad crew that will beat you within an inch of your life Damn Sniff and I flip my switch with the 666 Was a slick ass chick with some big old tits And a clit's whole wrist like a hypnotist Was a hit you quick and a stitch your lips and a slit your wrist And drugs were a bitch who was beautiful at first But she turned to a pissed off witch and I ended up like talking about getting with a girl that was man she was a nice girl at first and all of a sudden she switched up got evil was so evil in fact she will she will take your life if you're not careful damn fellas be careful man be careful when when, when, when uh mean these uh these uh these women out here man because yo some of them be wild some of them be wild Locked in the county jail, mess psychosis, straight handcuffed to a bench. All ghosts and demons up all around me. The untrained eye wouldn't make much sense. That's when I realized when you play with the devil, he wants you to suffer in pain and strip you with talent and goals. And Yo, that's facts, man. The devil wants you to suffer. The devil, the devil wants you to struggle. He wants you to, you know, be in pain and, and constant agony all the time. You know what I'm saying? He wants you hurting for certain. Bruh. Eat you a pole, just know this shit ain't a game. So I rebuke any evil that follow me. All of me knows I... Bruh, man, this hits home for me because, again, going back to that girl that I was dating, um, I found out that she started reading the uh, Satanic Bible. So, again, that's another reason why I'm glad I'm no longer with that chick. You know what I'm saying? Not dating that chick no more. I'm sorry, not sorry, but, I mean, you, you pick up that, that, that Satanic Bible and start reading it because you're curious. We good. We good. You Do, do you. Still have my soul and I changed my life for the better and I know I'm saved and I feel God has control in a minute I can wait when I benefit the fate and I never return to these old ass vices Just listen to your gut and protect yourself because your soul is priceless, soul is priceless Everybody dies in their nightmares Do not make a sound when it's your turn Everybody dies in their nightmares Do not make a sound when it's your turn We got Pops coming in again with that guitar. Let's go.
Pops still still has it, man. After all these years, after you know seeing them again so long ago, doing doing their thing live, and all, and after record after record of solid drops, you know what I'm saying, bruh. Pops still got it, man. Let's go. Yo, that's some real shit, man. Everyone dies in their nightmares and don't make a sound when it's your turn. Whoo. Whoo. Yo. Heavy, heavy stuff, but I am with this one, man. I am with this record, man, so far. Again, have not heard a track I don't like, you know what I'm saying? But, of course, that could change as we still have about, what, less than nine tracks left to go. Man. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. All right, y'all. So, we are on track number seven, I believe, right? Yep, number seven. Uh, this one being called St. Chris, and it features another artist who goes by the name of Justin Cohen. So, uh, can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. So, without further ado, I'd like to hear here. Go. St. Christopher, guide us, because the waters are deep and dangerous. All these freaky beasts want to eat like I'm Ethiopian. Speak evil when I freak on the streak, and at least it's Doberman. I keep cohesive heat on it. Man, he rhymed Ethiopian with Doberman, bruh. Beating the beast awoke again. I try to beat addiction to sex, but I'm deep in throats again. I'm fear and loathing, lost all the fear, but I keep on loathing. Then it needless just to say I meet twins and I sleep with both of them. The chicks that all right, we're getting into that more classic wild card, you know what I'm saying, with just that straight spitfire, you know what I mean, type of flow going on, bro. Let's go. I have a chastity belt, I got keys to open them and meet a tweaker freak on the street, and I'll be fallopians. I did too much and ended up just permafrost from doing shit. My working minds into it, it was burning bright and losing it. I'm turning rhymes and spewing shit. I murder mics, this music biz. I rap and kill these kids just like a spermicidal lubricant. I went. Said I'm. Wait, 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 whoa. What, 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 what are we talking about here? Shit, my working minds into it. It was burning bright and losing it. I'm turning rhymes and spewing shit. I murder mics, this music biz. I rap and kill these kids just like a spermicidal lubricant. I w said I rap and kill these kids like they trap inside of a lubricant. Damn. When I tour with OT Kilo and I flex gang Then I almost lost myself and almost got a wet brain Faster life it halted like I crashed inside the left lane Had a rough transition like a bot's fucking sex change Got a shout out my dude Adlib for taking me to Philly King We looking at the road ahead and wondering what will it bring Pops, cryptic wisdom, cryo and deranged for filming things These chicks that let me bust on they face looking like silly string Saint Chris What you say? He, he busts on, on on these chicks and their faces be looking like they covered in silly string. The race for filming things and chicks that let me bust on they face looking like silly string. Bust on their face and they looking like they covered in silly string. Damn. Damn. Oh man, all these crazy metaphors that this dude comes up with. Oh, bro, I ain't hating it though, man. I ain't hating it, man. I, I'm 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 about it, man. Let's go. Saint Chris, I'm out on the road. Lord, won't you save my soul? Ooh. I left my loved ones at home. Oh, oh, oh. Just like a savior's hold. I feel I've always known the journey on the road is my only hope. Okay, this must be Justin Cohen. Yo, if that if this is Justin, man, Justin got a voice. I love that hook, man. That 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 is a solid, solid hook from Justin. Let's go. Just the people that I travel with from slain to cane to anyone I hit the road with on his train to fame. Then I realize I ain't famous and this anger came. And now I'm handing out these halos like an angel's game. Shouts to say what well, like I'm hanging I'm handing out the these halos like an angel's game. Yo, and let's not forget Wildcard has a song called Halos on his Odyssey album. So that could be a callback too. Send this anger came and now I'm handing out these halos like an angel's game. Shouts to crazy bone and mad child and those that open doors are the Hey, shout out to Mad Child. Let's go. Cast it helped me get some fans from doing bigger tours. Can't forget self-titled apathy and enemy. We did that. 
Self-titled and apathy, man. Let's go. And women gonna feel me all inside. I'm like an empath. I am need a simple all the way to St. War. Had your brothers grin for rocking with me. We were straight poor. Sweat on stages, paying dues to end up slaying, making music. And these women wanna swallow all of my creative juices. Anybody that <laughs> these women wanna swallow my creative juices. Damn. Is that what we're calling it now? That was with me when we packed a van. I put cheese on haters' heads like a Packers fan. And the pe I put cheese on haters' heads like a Packers fan, bro. <laughs> People, I believe in if I blow, you blow. Just like a suicidal bomber out of Pakistan. Like a field of dreams, and our dreams will never be done. It's like design and vibrators. If you build it, they will come. Went to Las Vegas, all the Vegas lights, and just... So like a vibrator, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> Damn. Loved it, looking at the strip like I'm checking counterfeit hundreds. St. Chris, I'm out on the road. Lord, won't you save my soul? I left my loved ones at home. Oh, just like a savior's hold. I feel I've always known. The journey on the road is my only home. Coming out the shadows and I'll paint the sky all black for your haunted mystery map. Life was written by Agatha Christie. I got St. Christopher tatted the saint of travelers under a spell like Tabitha. My dick rise up like Attica was sober. My dick rise up like Attica. <laughs> On these tours and tried to concentrate and focus And when things were getting wild When we travel around the globe Shit, I would go to AA meetings In a motherfucking taxi cab And people gave me game I soaked it up just like a maxi pad I gotta be People gave me game I soaked it up like a maxi pad Damn Be more grateful cause some people never travel You should get out, meet some people See some places that would have you I'm just like a fucking trafficker I had a lot of dope runs Even though I ain't doing no numbers Like a ghost gun Shout to Liquid Assassin for clubs that we do Oh, uh, he mentioned the uh, ghost gun. You know that BS ghost gun nonsense that, the, that those politicians try to try to try to bring up. Man, good thing that that never caught on. Demolish won't stop fucking with liquid like a stubborn alcoholic. Want to shout out all my tour mates from back in the day and anyone who had the balls to go and get up on stage. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Smoke, my managers Mary and Ryan Wreck for all they did. Donnie Men is batting concrete for this brand new one. See you on the road. It's our wild card with St. Chris featuring Justin Cohen. And yeah, man, I love this one, man. See you on the road, huh? Hey, man, I hope you, you start touring uh, Northern Cali, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Or at least come back to Santa Cruz, man. I'll meet you in Santa Cruz. We, we can definitely do that. Make sure y'all go pick yourselves up a hard copy. You know what I'm saying? Go hit up the Wildcard QM website. You know what I'm saying? I'll be sure to link the website uh, in the comment section down below. Or not in the comment section, but in the uh, description down below. Underneath the uh, playlist link. So y'all can go get yourselves a copy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the next song. All right. So we the next song that is up on deck is track number eight. This one is called Party of the Dead. And let's see. Is there a feature for this one? No, we writing Han Solo on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get into Party of the Party for the Dead. Excuse me, by Wildcard from his latest album Western Promises. Without further ado, I'd like the hit hit. Go. <laughs> They usually embellish the truth to make this music compelling. His groupies are yelling, just swooping all these truths when you tell them. All right, we're going back into that more familiar wild card type flow. Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> it's, it, it still has that 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 sound, that familiar wild, wild card sound that I, I enjoy. You know what I mean? That I personally love. And that's the thing about this record, too. And that's the thing about wild card. Wild card has such a diverse skill set. You know what I mean? He can basically flow at any speed you know what i mean whether it's a much more slower slowed more calm uh pace you know what i'm saying or with that rapid fire pace and anywhere in between you know what i'm saying that's what i love about wild card man the dude always has variety when it comes to his records you know what i mean his records are more like 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 mixtapes in in that sense you know what i'm saying and uh, i was gonna say being that this song is called party for the dead this would have been a a fitting song to put dead poet on i mean i'm just saying but anyway shout out to dead poet 
Yeah, they usually embellish the truth to make this music compelling. His groupies are yelling, just swooping all these truths when you tell them. I use this propeller, maneuver through with Lucifer selling. Get off your bougie high horses like how Superman fell in. Like beautiful melon. Get off your, get off your bougie high horses, bro. Let's go. Get your bougie asses off some high horses. Since the roots I groove and shoot in this jello like fugitive felons through Jupiter. I cruise like Magellan, hit bookies in hell, and I fell down, was losing my dwelling, but I came right back up just like the coochie was smelling. Got blues that was. So you came right back up just like the coochie was smelling. Damn. Selling the music type for sick wicked vandals. I lit up this camel from which is lit. I'm pretty sure when, when this video is posted, uh, YouTube's gonna put an age restriction on it. It's gonna be an 18 plus video. With black dripping candles, this kid is just animalistic, and your shit gets dismantled. I'm gripping handles, set this pistol under my dicks and flannel. They switching channels when they listen to me, bitch. I'm a handful, my spit is just flammable. Death is really a disadvantage because I'm trying to live longer just to make these freaks scream. With the condom cover in my pole, just like a street team. Come on. Damn. Have a party for your life right now We'll just be great for your alive and sound for your alive and sound Cause a lot of people ain't no more So just enjoy it for your lights go out For your lights go out Have a party for your life right now We'll just be great for your alive and sound I like the vibe on this one man Talking about yo You know enjoy life while you can You know what I mean Because tomorrow's not promised You know what I'm saying You know it, Live live your life to the fullest Live your best life as you possibly can You know what I'm saying To the fullest You know what I mean you know, with, with, with no regrets, you know, so when, you know, the time comes and your time is up, you know what I mean? You have no, no regrets, man. Let's go. You're alive and sound. Cause a lot of people ain't no more. So just enjoy it for your lights go out. My ex woman told me actions will speak louder than words. But baby, don't none of your bitching is as loud as this herb. I try to do relationships, but always doubt if they work. Cause if they leave me for some dude, I'll put his mouth on the curb and ruin everything. Oh, I like the American History X reference. You know what I mean? Yo, yo. I, I, I gotta hear that back. Sir, I try to do relationships, but always doubt if they work. Cause if so, I always try to do relationships, but always doubt if they work. They leave me for some dude, I'll put his mouth on the curb. Because if they leave me for some dude, I'll put his mouth on the curb. So, do you not get the American History X reference? If you've never seen American History X, y'all need to go check out that movie, man. It's a crazy movie. But there's a scene in there. Minor spoiler, but there's a scene in it where um, Ed Norton's character uh, puts this dude's, makes this dude put his mouth on the curb and then he stomps his head in, man. It's a crazy scene. Of course, they don't show him, show the guy's head being stomped on. He does it off camera, so anyway. It ruined everything, not just to feel like I got the upper hand, but she will up me even more by trying to go and fuck my man. I want to beat them both to death and end up with some busted hands. Jealousy will train people to kill just like Uncle Sam. Yo, there's lots of people out there happy living the dream. While other people are in prison getting shit in their spleen. And ugly people hope for love and they're just picturing scenes of pretty people having sex and all the friction between. And now there's sober people out there that were sick as some fiends. And active addicts want sobriety but tipping the beam. There's women sitting up in prison getting and dicked in their dreams but steady settle for their cellmates because they're licking their beam oh. yeah Ooh, man my man with the raw grittiness man i, I couldn't help but vibe out to this verse man because I, I love this flow from card man let's go have a party for your life right now would we'll just be great for your alive and sound this track is a whole vibe man i'm just vibing out with it you're alive and sound Cause a lot of people ain't no more So just enjoy it for your lights go out For your lights go out Have a party for your life right now We'll just be great for your alive and sound You're alive and sound Cause a lot of people ain't no more So just enjoy it for your lights go out yeah. Life isn't so picture perfect But is it a gift and curse I got rhythm to spit this curse though And live up these wicked words I tried living till this immersion and forgiving when shit occurs Just like a bitch who's gonna leave you But gives you a quickie first And my mission's to hit this like a chick is gonna leave you but gives you a quickie first first with my gift and you listen first i'm not missing assistant living get risen from distant dirt i obliterate vicious hurt looking slick in my dicky shirt and all these bitches always love me too because my dicks got girth i've had hey shout out to the dickies clothing line you know what i'm saying i know yeah wildcard has been known to wear the uh dickies um work shirts you know what i'm saying i used to wear those shirts too um the closest thing i have to one now is a low rider work shirt yeah yeah, I used to wear dicky clothing all the time. Man. I used to wear the pants and everything. Bro, let's go. 
had lots of people that supported me who were gone I think of all my fans that died that will never just hear the song So do whatever makes you happy, we don't get out alive And look around today cause all these people got up and tried And I'ma make the most about a life that is my choice The reaper trying to steal your breath so guard your windpipe boys I brought the woman back home to make her inside like what you're saying right there, man. If you're, if you're gonna do weed, don't don't get out of control with it. You know what I'm saying? Because yo, protect your 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 windpipes and everything. You know what I'm saying? And card. If you're watching this, I, I hope this means that you finally give it the uh, stogies. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how I got on you about the stogies. You know what I mean? Guard your windpipe, my guy. Guard your windpipe. You know what I mean, bruh? I'm just saying. I'm I'm only saying cut cut because I love you, bro. You know this. My parents are a sleek bitch, use your inside voice Hush, have a party for your life right now And just be grateful you're alive and sound You're alive and sound Cause a lot of people ain't no more So just enjoy it for your lights go out Before your lights go out Have a party for your life right now And just be grateful you're alive and sound You're alive and sound Cause a lot of people ain't no more So just enjoy it for your lights go out Before for your lights go out all right, y'all. So that was "Party for the Dead" by Wild Card from his latest drop, Western Promises. And I'll go back and make sure to hit the like on that one as well. <clears throat> the next song that's up on deck, track number nine. So we are almost done with the album review so far. Um, and yeah, so far, man, so far so good, man. I'm with the album. I'm I'm at a point where I'm vibing with it, man. Like I'm just I'm just about this album so far. Next song that's up on deck, track number nine, as I mentioned, it is The Era. The Era. So, can't wait to get into this one. Sure y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. So, without further ado, I'd like to hear here. Go. Welcome to Washington. Yeah. 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 My lines are like ether design them just to climb at your speakers. And I make believers spit diamonds. And now I show the reaper the lying deceivers who try and Okay, I like the flow on this, but the beat though is giving me some notorious B.I.G. vibes, man. Let's go. Welcome to Washington. Yeah, my lines are like ether design. I'm just to climb at your speakers and I make believers spit diamonds. And now I show the reaper the lying deceivers who try and take my kindness for weakness. I leave them ran the fuck through like the vaginas on tweakers. Yeah. <laughs> Since some motherfuckers be mistaking my kindness for a weakness, I can relate to that. Um, he <laughs> talking about what you say. He's gonna leave him like what? Make believers spit diamonds and now I show the reaper the lying deceivers who try and take my kindness for weakness. I leave him ran the fuck through like the vaginas on tweakers. I leave him ran the fuck through like vaginas on tweakers, <laughs> bruh. Yo, no disrespect to all my call girl homies. I was high and right beside you like this whole world owes me. Son of Shadow, wrong underground rapper for coming after Dubu Kaki and I'll paint her whole face like a mumble rapper. Glitch the me. Took my paint in her face like a mumble rapper. <laughs> Dude. Fallen dangerous angel who's spitting hatred with my cadence I've been wrangling my slang will kick your face And when I see a crazy beautiful dame then I'll get a taste And I would kill to get in it like a gang initiation These women are so powerful the core of me hurts I'm not a white rapper I'm a pale horse with a curse Women with a big rap I'm not a white rapper I'm a pale horse with a curse Damn Damn <laughs> Hey, women can be an uh, addiction for us men sometimes, man. It, it that's that's real talk. Yes, there is there is such an addiction, you know, for for sex, and it's there there are sex fiends out there. You know what I mean, bruh? Jesse James, you know what I mean, was was one of those dudes, but then he went and you know and sought sought help for it, got himself you know cured of it for the most part, and last I heard, found himself a solid woman, and now he. He's living his best life, man. So, yo, shout out to Jesse James, man. I've always been a fan of his, man. Fucking Monster Garage, West Coast Choppers. Man, let's go. Back and she wore a tight skirt. I'll plant my face in her chest like a memorial shirt. Such potential, what a waste. Doc studies a nutty case. These the type of dirty trap. What do you say? I plant my face in her shirt like it's a memorial shirt? Skirt, I'll plant my face in her chest like a memorial shirt. Plant my face in her chest like it's a memorial shirt. Such potential, what a waste. Doc studies a nutty case. These are the type of dirty tracks that my father and mother hate. I'll put a hit on you. You'll These are the type of dirty tracks my mother, my father, and my mother hate. <laughs> you know how it is back in the days, man, when you listen to that raw, gritty rap and hip hop music, that gangster rap, that hardcore hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Your parents don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So you don't play it around there. Anyway. Disappear with no fucking trace. I'll throw a bag on your head like a chick with a butter face. <laughs> I'm, I'm from that. What do you say? K 
face These the type of dirty tracks that my father and mother hate I'll put a hit on you You'll disappear with no fucking trace I'll throw a bag on your head like a chick with a butter face <laughs> Throw a bag on your head like a chick with a butter face? Damn I'm, I'm, I'm from the era where violence and sex sells <laughs> From the air where violence is sex sells. Oh, I like this. I like I like that 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 DJ scratch hook. You know what I mean, bro? Let's go. They're like, oh God, another song about the shit Like homie quit it as a teen These older women got me high and let me hit it I can't blame them though, they really were just always sick as hell Sicker than the fiend who's dopes again Just trying to kick in jail A lot of things just added to the songs that sound misogynistic I'm a dirty ass comedian with humor that is twisted Plus the ch I like that, I'm a dirty ass com comedian with, uh, the, with the humor that, that is twisted Bruh. Chicks that act all bougie, all that in a bag of chips All to think you did all that to just gag on a bag of dicks I'm murdering mur these riddles dispersing these dirty wicked words she didn't make the cut like she fucked up a circumcision first she wanted me to she didn't make the cut like she fucked up the circumcision damn fuck her parallel and perpendicular wants me to use some toys i'm sticking a purple dick in her i'm liking these beats man walk hard and one thing or two about walk hard he, he always has the best uh beat selections you know what i'm saying almost well i should say almost always because uh in cabin pressure there was a couple of tracks where i wasn't really feeling the beats so much um, and then the, the mix also played a role in those tracks too. Uh, I believe it was only two songs that were like that. And then the rest of the album was, was, was fire. But on this one though, so far his beat selection on this one, top notch. They're loving this chick's vagina. I'm loving the lick behind her, but she's smoking hair when there's big trouble in little China. She's bubbling bits of China. Big trouble in little China. She like hair with more. Now I jerk with my hands solo like I'm Harrison Ford. Now I'm pacing it straight to strap from the ways that she's taking off. She looked like Megan Fox was craving cocks and tastes like apricots. But I she looking like Megan Fox was was was, was craving many cocks and it tastes like apricots. What? She's taking off. She looked like Megan Fox was craving cocks and tastes like. Oh, craving cocks. Apricots, but out. And tastes like apricots. <laughs> Damn. After I slayed the box, she said she wants to break it off. Dog, we broke up at seven. She ate a cock at eight o'clock. I'm from the. She ate a cock at eight o'clock. <laughs> Damn. The air with violence and sex sells. <laughs> Was that AM or PM? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm from the air with violence and sex cell. Watch Walker leave a, leave a comment saying yes. Sending all my love from California up to Washington who looked at and supported me for years. That's why I rock with it. Fuck yeah. You know, you know, Cali always got love for you, Card. And yet, the state of Washington, I'm sure they, they love them too. Let's go. Damn, I wrote most of my songs in either place. Remember walking in to help my dying grandfather use his fucking oxygen. I better make some money in this fucking music industry or I'ma show the world a wild, wicked fugitive and me start robbing drug dealers. Hands up in the sky, punk, snatching keys like a friend who won't let you go drive drunk. Yo, and after shots were fired, they hear it across the wire. With this music, I'ma write it down before the thoughts expired. And I got your woman deep throated. Pats the Oscar Myers never said she's so I got your woman deep throating and passing out the Oscar Myers. <sighs> Bruh, it's like how many metaphors can you come up? You know what I mean? In regards to the uh to the uh, Pornhub re references. I mean I'm just saying. <laughs> damn, damn. And earlier he mentioned um his, his dying grandfather helping him use his uh, oxygen A. Hey, I wonder if that's the same grandfather that really been helping Walcard out with his writing. Because I know Walcard told a story about how his grandfather would help him like with his English and, and whatnot, like especially like with, with writing stuff and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if that's the same grandfather. I'm pretty sure it is, but either way, man. Red-headed, but her fucking cross was fire. I'm rapping so impactful, I shatter the night skies. And your album's got more skits than no Saturday night lives. Dog, and all your shows are whack, and I had to just cut ties. No one's coming like when vibrator batteries just die, motherfucker. From the air where violence and sex sells. <laughs> I'm from the air where violence and sex sells. <laughs> Bad boy, 
All right, y'all. So that was Wild Cards. Um, that was track number nine off of Wild Cards Western Promises album, simply called The Era. Definitely gonna match the like on this one because y'all, I was feeling this one. This is another vibey track as well. Um, now let's go ahead and get on to the next one. Track number ten. Track number ten. This one being called Place the Blame. And once again, we are looking at Wild Cards Western Promises. Without further ado, y'all. Hey, hey. Okay, we got pops on this, man. Heavy. Let's go. Yeah, I seem to rage against the past a lot. I'm thinking about it before I grew up, saw some demons and was drinking about. You know what? This kind of gives me um true story of Bonnie and Vi um Bonnie and Vibe Bonnie and Clyde vibes. Um, from Dark Knight of the Soul. That's what this kind of reminds me of. I saw my grandpa and my father always fighting and screaming, and both of them in life were always fighting real demons. My grandpa treat me like a prince, and then he yell at my dad. My dad would start screaming back, and it was hell at the pad. I tried to make myself small as the shit could get serious. Talking about, um, what is it? His, his grandmother and his father getting into battles? Back, and it was hell at the pad. I tried to make myself small as Fighting real demons, my grandpa treat me like a prince, and then he yell at my dad. My da oh, it's his grandfather and his father, kind of ha having their their battles at the house and whatever, and he would um, basically try to make himself self scarce, basically, because hey, man, yeah, I mean, you, you don't you don't want to see your your family fight and whatever, especially getting into such heated arguments and what and whatnot. It, it's traumatizing, man. Bruh, I should know, bruh. Dad would start screaming back and it was hell at the pad I tried to make myself small as the shit could get serious Tried to mind my own business, a kid eating his cereal Then years later when my grandpa died, my dad was right there with him Helping him and I was gone inside a nightmare It always bothered me that at the end that I was on drugs And my father was the helping him and showing him love I used to be jealous that I didn't have that time With my grandpa at the end but had a million in life My dad and grandpa found peace at the end and I know They had a hard relationship so let him have that moment, yo Yo, yo, it, and it's real sad and unfortunate that it took, you know, the uh, passing of the grandfather for them to, well, that's not true. That's not what he said. He said that they had their peace before his grandfather passed, right? Let me make sure I hear that right. In life, my dad and grandpa found peace at the end, and I know they had a hard relationship, so let him have that moment, yo. Okay, so it said that they, they found their peace. He didn't really say specifically if it was before or after. He just said that they, well, at the end. He said they found their peace, their peace with each other. So let them have that moment. So, okay. I see what he's saying. Um, man, that, that, that is that is crazy, man. And, it, and it's sad, you know what I mean? That it took till that, that moment for them to have their moment, but at least they have their moment, you know what I'm saying? Which is, hey, I guess, better later than never, you know what I mean? So, hey, at, at least they finally found their peace. That's a good thing, you know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Yo, I, I kind of like that hook, man. That hook was nice. God, I mean, and I think of breakthroughs that I have that I am aware of. Because being in love is something that I'm constantly... I got to say, too, I love this beat. This beat is definitely perfect for that story he's trying to tell, you know, about the about the days growing up and um, witnessing the uh, battles between his father and his grandfather, man. This is this is perfect. Breakthroughs that I have that I am aware of Cause being in love is something that I'm constantly scared of So I be talking hella shit up in my songs But the truth is, just go ahead and leave Girl, I always have my music Be seeking out the Facts, facts, you know what I mean? Yo, I like what he said right there You know what I mean? I always have my music So best believe I'm always gonna talk my shit And if you don't like it, you know where the door is, girl Because no matter what, whether you're in my life or not I'm always gonna have my music That is facts Absolutely, let's go the wrong ones i know i can't trust but dog they can't trust me either with my wandering lust but my patterns are just clear and i'll be seeking out 
Yo, and I like how my man is recognizing the the uh, issues that, that he was having too. You know what I mean? Talking about yo, you, if you don't if you don't have any trust for me, that's fine. I can't say I blame you because I don't trust me either with my wandering lust, bruh. My partners then be putting up my walls up so won't get my heart hurt. Wrong of me to wake up a girl's love and run. Yeah, see, him putting up the walls so he won't get his heart hurt. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Can't say I blame him. Fast. Either that or I'm just crazy and get super attached I get obsessed so I don't want to hear about women's past But expect them to hear my music and not get mad Talking hella shit about all the notches on my belt But my sadness is a wave that will lock me in the cell Always talking hella crazy but I'm selfish and numb Yeah I slept with lots of girls but how many did I make come? When I think back to Dude that is crazy Crazy man, talking about these uh, re relationship issues that he was having. Man, he's definitely talking to me on this one too, man. Cause I can relate to this one. I mean, I'm glad my man finally finally has, has God in his life, you know what I mean? And he's got that, you know, that now to help him, you know, find his peace and everything. And, and so, yeah, man, this is definitely a much more mature sound from Wildcard, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm loving this record so far, man. This is a solid, solid release. It's definitely more mature than the previous two releases. However, the previous two releases are still solid in their own right. But this is definitely showing some growth here. I think that's a better way of putting it. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to down talk his previous releases because really, they're they're solid releases in their own right. Alright y'all, so that was Wildcard with Place the Blame. Definitely gonna match the like on this one, man. So far, solid record, man. The, the album is is fire so far. And it definitely has a, um, a more mature message behind it. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go ahead and get into the next one, track number 11, which is called Operator. And this one features both Bars and Lateb. Man, it's been a minute since we heard Angie from Lateb, so... I can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. So let's go ahead and jump right into it by liking the hit. <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't throw stones at the rap Confucius. My soul is adapting to this. I'm roaming this path of music like Bowen. Oh man, we got that old school, early '90s type of rap and hip hop type of sound going on here. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let's go. They rap with Rufus, my poems are just rapping nooses on domes of these cats. I'm using this chrome and I'll blast abusive to Coma to Massachusetts. Have you ever seen your lovers fucking tombstone before? Like planet roses brushing off the grave like brooms to the floor. I'm thinking of my people dead, just sitting blue in the morgue. And now I'm crazy like a combat vet with too many tours. I tried for celibates, but now I'm fucking glued to these whores. I tried religion, now I'm talking about the future of porn. I would have made you come if you'd have gave me two minutes more. I swear she's cheating because she feels even more loose than before. I tried my Bro. Maneuvering through problems like I'm Zeus in a storm But usually my nervous system's in the nuclear war Not Halloween, but all these hookers have the spookiest sores And no one must have told you I don't shine shoes anymore That's why Woo, man, the crazy schemes and the play on words, man Bro, let's go that pistol whip surrounded by death like the Holocaust And now I'm in the gun store asking how much do these hollows cost And fill a fill Dude, that's a crazy play right there Talking about the Holocaust, now I'm in the, the this gun store asking how much do these hollows cost. Damn. You're full of bullets swinging out of Molotov while your woman's looking up at me and going ga ga ga. I'm set. <laughs> Talking about Molotovs and you got a woman going ga ga ga. <laughs> Bruh. Up a tour and I don't want to dial backwards. I got to be real careful that I don't invite disaster because I've fallen in temptation and they killed my style faster. I don't want these shows. 
Yep, 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 yep. My man talking about that, you know, falling into temptations, you know what I mean? All of these things, you know what I mean? I took him down that dark path, but we, we ain't dwelling on that, though. You know what I'm saying? We out of that now, man. Let's go. Supposed to fuck up my life like a child actor. Yo, wow, God. nobody got it like. But he said his life is like a child actor's? Yo, my style faster. I don't want these shows to fuck up my life like a child actor. Yo, wow, God. nobody. <laughs> See, I don't want these shows to fuck up my life like a child actor. Damn. Got it like this. That's why they're always on my dick. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm gonna talk my shit. No, ain't nobody hating on me. Cause I'm real and I'm so low key. He an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. You ain't got it like this. I'm dope in the hat. Ooh, that must be a lot of Teb that's on the hook. Cause a lot of Teb has that more kind of like, like deeper sound in his voice we got it like this i'm dope in the attic shoe with no gold and no platinum units the moment i snap into this is over like cancel group shit they folding like pamphlets do i'll expose them like camera views because the photos they snap is superimposed with a trap included i chop anything i speak on abusing the code of sample author boy with no arms bitch you couldn't hold a candle maneuver the coast and travel the ruins i'm known to scaffold rumors can form but they can't use it in court for that though verses that i lost in phones only made my pencil better has this member only in You'll ever make it stencil letters. You just couldn't pick it up like me with all these deck collectors. Feds been watching me more than sex offenders do Kendall Jenners. Most of these rappers doing corn. Whoa, what do you say? Sex offenders doing Kendall Jenners? You'll ever make it stencil letters. You just couldn't pick it up like me with all these deck collectors. Feds been watching. So you couldn't figure out with me with all these deck collectors. Me more than sex offenders do Kendall Jenners. Most. Sex offenders do Kendall Jenner's. Damn. These rappers doing corny old impressions. Check the scores 40 yo, and now your story mode just send it. Your bitch ain't about to teach me no more Povich lessons. So she sucked my dip and felt guilty. That's a glory hope. Did these bitches about to teach me more Mori, Mori Povich lessons? Damn. Confession. Yo, don't nobody got it like this. That's why they're always on my dick. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm gonna talk my shit. No, ain't nobody hating on me. Cause I'm real and I'm so low key. He an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. You ain't got it like this. Yo, styles, I got both cool. Flagrant on the Pro Tools. Now the hate no longer exists to my. I like that style. Style. I got Boku's and then playing with the Pro Tools. Let's go. Bro, like toe boost. So true. I was a felon watching the coke move, but hooks I take them back to soul like lemon soju. I don't know what they sold you saying lyricism's dead, cause they gon' think they nailed they verses till I hit them in the head. Ask him a time without the pants that I can't dance. Getting rich when I'm doing these splits like Van Damme. Can't desist. I insist on moving my fans' hands in the air with a classic like humans from a Trans Am. Gotta. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I gotta hear that back. Doing these splits like Van Damme, get this. Oh, I went too far back. My bad. I don't know what they sold you saying lyricism's dead because they gon' think they nailed their verses till I hit them. So true. I was a felon watching the coke move, but hooks I take them back to soul like lemon soju. I don't know what they sold you saying lyricism's dead because they gon' think they nailed their verses till I hit them in the head. Ask him a time without the pants that I can't dance. Getting rich when I'm doing these splits like Van Damme. Okay, that's what I was trying to get to. Doing these splits like. Doing these kicks and splits like Van Damme, bruh. Get the cyst, I insist on moving my fans' hands in the air with a classic like humans from a Trans Am. What? Moving my fans' hands? It's it's like a classic, like a Trans Am. Fun fact, my mom used to, my mom's first car was a Trans Am. <laughs> I think it was a 1980 Trans Am. It was the one that had the four uh, sunken in headlights, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like the second gen uh, Trans Am, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway. Gotta keep it moving, don't care if I swam, ran the flu Cause they all knew I'd bear fruit for my grand plan They know we the best in it, skill I know I'm blessed with it So fresh, I had to go invest a pound of flesh in it Yes, I'ma take it to the east, to the west with it North to the south, my head doubt never crept Yo, in it don't nobody got it like mm. this Mmm, solid verse from Lotev and Bars, man Came with that crazy verse, man, let's go that's why they're always on my dick. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. I'm gonna talk my shit. No, ain't nobody hating on me. Cause I'm real and I'm so low key. He an operator. I'm an operator. I'm an operator. You ain't got it like this.
All right, y'all, so that was Operator featuring Bars and Lateb from Wildcard. His latest drop, Western Promises. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to go pick up that copy, physical hard copy. I'm with that one, man. I like that one. Can't, can't wait to check out the rest of this album. So let's go ahead and get on to track number 12. That is called Be Witch. So as I was saying, track number 12 is called Be Witch. And this one is featuring an artist who goes by the name of Savvy Ray. So I can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. So without further ado, like the hit hit. Go. Never meant to make you. Never meant to make you cry. Never meant to let you die. Now we gotta say goodbye. Never meant to make you. Oh, never meant to make you cry. Never meant to let you die. They didn't wanna yeah. watch you Either die. Either we're obsessed with you or I leave, and it's crystal clear. I'm like a lifer up in prison, been doing this shit for years. Plus, I've always been a player. If you let me hit it, dear, I'm like Bermuda Triangle. I'll hit it and disappear. Or I'm toxic in relationships, my sanity snap. Now, don't you ever underestimate a man who's attached? Cause if you leave me, then I'm stalking you. I'm all outside your house and fucking hiding in the bush like a bad case of crabs. If you. Ooh, man, my man talking about. I'm getting on that horrorcore type vibe. Talking about stalking somebody, you know what I'm saying, bro? And he's like, he's, he's all, I'm, you know, yeah, man, I'd be, I'd be on these bushes like crabs and stuff. Like, damn. Loyal to me, baby doll, then I'm okay. But if you fucking cheating on me, bitch, then I'm OJ. We told us. Ooh, he says, yo, if you fucking with me, then I'm okay. But if you cheating on me, then I'm OJ. Damn, dog. Whoa, let's go. Other our body counts. Now I'm like so crazy. Those bodies coming back to haunt us, just like a cold case. We have a makeup session, then she swallows. Talking about get man having a body count, but these bodies are coming back to haunt them like a cold case. I yo play after I give a hella inches, homie, like snow days. Then she says she gonna see a priest for stuff to do, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, you gonna fuck him too? Yeah. Man, you're talking about being on that paranoid tip, man. I can't say I blame him, man. Like I said, I know what it's like to be cheated on. I've been with, with, with women who have cheated. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say I blame him for feeling the way that he's feeling on this record. Let's go. Never meant to make you. Never meant to make you cry. Never meant to let you die. Now we gotta say goodbye. Never meant to make you. Oh, never meant to make you cry. You. There's no in between. Less it's in the sheets. The only middle ground that we can reach. You love how I go both ways. Bipolar psycho tendencies. Just ask anyone that knows me. I'll take it to the extreme. Why Woo, savvy Ray, man. She coming in hot, man. Damn. Talking about being bipolar and stuff. Yo, let me wind this back. Never meant to let you die. I feel like I love you or I hate you. There's no in between. Less it's in the sheets. The only middle ground that we can reach. You love. It's like feeling like I, I, I like I love you or I hate you. There's no in between except for when we're in the sheets. Damn. How I go both ways, bipolar psycho tendency. And then talking about going both ways with bipolar tendencies, or being bipolar with psychotic tendencies. Damn. He's just ask anyone that knows me, I'll take it to the extreme. Why you tripping, always asking me about my body count? Can hardly count, so why don't you just come see what this body's about? Always. Woo, so why are you tripping off me and worried about my body count when you can be seeing what this body is about? Damn. See, yeah, that's the thing that that always bothers me, too, because I, I have dated women, too, that, that talk about, you know, guys that they've been with for in the past, you know what I mean? And then they always ask, like, how many, you know what I mean, how many people have you been with? And it's like, what does that matter? You know what I'm saying? Because the point is, I'm with you now. I'm trying to make this work with you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't want to hear about how many people you've been with because, I mean, I don't care. You know what I mean? That doesn't matter to me. I'm with you now. I'm trying to be with you and see what you're, see what, what you're all about. You know what I mean? Bruh. It's like, let's, you know, let's go. Who cares? You know what I mean? We're talking about building a future together. How can we build a future together when we're too busy digging into each other's past? Make that make sense to me. He's talking about I'm crazy till my ass starts walking out. I walk away so they don't have to carry your dead body out. Oh, now your pride's herbal. What she say about carrying a dead body out? 
out. Always talking about I'm crazy till my ass starts walking out. I walk away so they don't have to carry your dead body out. Oh, now your pride's hurt. Well, guess what? Mine's in the dirt. I guess I'm supposed to dim my light just cause you're fucking insecure. Ex dope fiend. I fuck some guy and now I'm just a hoe. Please, you fuck a bag whore and get a motherfucking trophy. I'm not like. Damn. Damn, this one is heavy. Bruh, they, they going deep with this one. Ex dope I fuck some guy and now I'm just a hoe, please. You I fuck some guy now I'm just a hoe, please. Damn. Fuck a bag whore and get a motherfucking trope. I'm not like these other women, viper spilling men with venom. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I can't so and, and here's the thing too. She she's like, I'm not like these other women and stuff. I can't tell you the number of times I've heard that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like these other girls out here, whatever, blah, 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 and this and that. Yeah, well, proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? Actions speak louder than words. You know what I'm saying? If you are if you want me to believe that you are different or whatever, yo, show it. You know what I'm saying? Don't just say it. Show it. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying she, she could be one of those girls that claims to not be like these other girls that are out there. You know what I mean? Because, hey, who knows? Maybe she is different or whatnot. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? More often than not... And, and I'm, again, I'm going based off of my experiences, okay? So don't no one take this personal. I'm, this is me going based off of the, the shit that I've experienced. You know what I mean? I've seen girls who cheat on me. Same girls would be like, you know what I mean? Hey, I, I'm not like these other girls out here. Yeah, well, your actions say, say different. You know what I mean? So that's why I've always been a firm believer of actions speaking louder than the words. You know what I mean? It's, it's not your beliefs that make you a better person. It's your behavior that makes you a better person. You know what I'm saying? And I posted that quote in my community tab. So you guys are more than welcome to go, go look at that. I might I might not have said it right, you know, verbatim, but it's close enough. Anyway. Get aggressive, love when you get mad at me and start stabbing my intestines. I guess this is what you meant when you said to come to my senses. Yeah. Damn, talking about stabbing my intestines, and I guess this is what you mean by coming to my senses. Damn. <laughs> See what he said right there? Like, yo, she's always saying that she's loyal until somebody throws some coke at her. Yeah. I, and um, and that might be true, you know, based off of something that he's experienced. But that can also be a metaphor, you know what I'm saying? Yo, she's loyal to a degree until someone throws, you know, something that'll attract her away from you. You know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh. Like I said, man, proof is in the pudding. Actually speak louder than words, man. If you if you want me to believe that you're different from other females, show it. I'm vocal coaching her. She's mad when I come first up in bed. I left broken hope in her. She's always mad that I busted first like a local opener. Beauty standards to a man are like a joke that never lands. Jokes you say some shit, everyone laughs, but I don't understand. I trusted you to feel my needs. Our love was bleeding in my hands. 40 days and 40 nights. Jesus, you left me in the sand. Look, I know my jealousy will ultimately make you leave. I'm sorry. I Ooh, I like this back and forth, this exchange between the two. Tell him, you know, basically, you know, give, given their, their perspective, you know what I mean? Bro, let's go. Just know how shady these men and women can be. I can charm her panties off and maybe. And yeah, exactly, man. It's not just women, but it, it could be men too. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound like I'm being being unfair or, or unbiased or whatever. Because yeah, there there are men who are just as bad as some of these women out here too. Wear some good cologne, but I'm insecure. I can't afford to buy us both a home. If people say money can never buy your happiness, then why is it always when we pay? That's when we always happy is. Why you think I cheat? You hate me. You're supposed to be my lover. Dichotomy, a part of me. We're perfect for each other. Yeah. Exactly, man. Why does money got to get in the way of things? Why does money got to be, you know, a factor, an issue? You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to establish a relationship with somebody, why can't you just be with somebody because you love that person for who they are? You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. Never meant to make you. Never meant to make you cry. Never meant to let you die. Now we gotta say goodbye. Never meant to make you.
Okay, I love you, dog. Love you too, bro. All right, bye. All right, bye. So that was Wild Card with Sevy Ray, and that was their song "Bewitched." And yeah, man, yo, that one, that one hit home for me. That one, that one hit deep. I mean, damn. Oh man. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to um, circles. Yeah, and let's see. Does this one have a feature? I find it weird that Car doesn't put doesn't always put features on all these tracks. Some of the features are missing from the title. So let's see. Nope, this is another solo one. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into circles. But I can hit here. Go. <laughs> Yo, I first got hired drunk at 12, I guess I was a late bloomer Met a hoe at 15, spread her legs like insane rumors She used teeth during head and I couldn't contain humor I told her that she fucked up the head like a brain tumor When I first had felt the high, I had these wings I could fly And then it went and turned on me inside the blink of an eye I wanted to chase that first high like the ink wouldn't dry That's why these people do the dope or maybe drink till they die I thank the angels I'm aware, but come and take this fear I'm doing lines off my homegirl's makeup mirror Like God, please I want to change, I want to make that clear Like a meth cook inside a lab trying to make that clear We all walk out on our family, baby dads are now pretenders And they never see the sun like it's Alaska in the winter Chicks sleep with dudes for drugs, doing just what they can That's the original Ooh, man, he, he coming at us with the heavy, heavy stuff now, man I'm talking about chicks sleeping with dudes for drugs, man Damn, bruh No version of doing it for the gram, y'all we learn these cycles and go in circles Having sex as a form of self-harm We know it's hurtful I never knew when I was young and blowing purple That I would end up messing with needles Like sewing circles, yo Damn, I mean He, he ain't wrong, man Some, like, like I said, man Sex can also be a, a drug too, you know what I mean? Especially if you're addicted to it Bro, that's crazy we learn these cycles and go in circles Having sex as a form of self-harm We know it's hurtful I never knew when I was young and blowing purple That I would end up messing with needles like sewing circles It all started with some 40s Damn, my man messed with the needles too? No, man Whew me belching up beer until you swallow by the solace of the sweltering fear it all started as a party then this hell would appear stop doing lines because i couldn't look myself in the mirror this chick wants to get to know me homie we can arrange it but she's a whore and i'm a drunk this is like leaving las vegas we graduated to the drugs and now damn he says like leaving las vegas man because this girl's trying to get to know him but come to find out she she she's a hoe and you know of course he he he's being he's a drug addict you know what i'm saying talking about doing lines and stuff bruh Bruh. We deep in the matrix and now we doing bath sauce and watch us eat through our faces. It's like apocalyptic shuts me doing bath sauce and, and eat, eating your eating through your faces. What damn from being affectionate it's a zombie apocalypse any neighborhood with meth in it a heroin a fentanyl we end up vilified because i've been to trap hotels haunted by people still alive spike strips up on the road and now tires and wheels blown cops behind you running place like they're trying to steal home you can move a bunch of Cops are running place like they're trying to steal a home. Like they're trying to steal your home. Damn. Damn, man. The baseball bars, man. Bruh. Don't wait if you so choose, but cops use your weight against you like judo moves. We learn these cycles and go. Cops use your moves against you like judo moves. Oh, in circles, having sex as a form of self-harm, we know it's hurtful. I never knew when I was young and blowing purple that I would end up messing with needles like sewing circles, yo. We learn these cycles and go in circles, having sex as a form of self-harm, we know it's hurtful. I never knew when I was young and blowing purple that I would end up messing with needles like sewing circles. We die and go to prison. Messing with needles like sewing circles? Damn. Get sober and free That's the way it's always been For all the people like me Addiction hits us so bad That some of us are grab a gun Consequences getting greater And outweighing having fun Always stung like syringes When they are plunging like insulin Lots of pain accrue for me For being under the influence Thank God the shit had changed And now my life had been ruined Cause if the shit was still fun Then I'd probably be doing it People around me I mean that, That's one way of looking at it Yeah, if shit was still fun Probably still be doing it But like, like you said, man It's not fun, dude Don't don't nobody go and get caught up in that life, man. It's not worth it. It's 
Not worth it. Used to say, yo, he's such a good guy. But he's on the hellish path to self-destruct and just die. Yo, there's solution out the homie. Get the fuck up and try. If you want to change, I hope this track fucks up your high. I see these people all... So, yeah, so he's talking about, you know, again, you know, being caught up in, in, in his addiction and everything. And, uh, you know, trying to find a way out of it and people encouraging him. Yeah, get out of it and, and go back to doing what, what you do best. You know what I mean? The music, man. Go back to the music. Bruh. All around me trying to do their best to do better in the world full of trauma and stress. You can be in your addiction, no D with a heart attack. Or you could be the sober person, get your son and daughter back, yo. We learn these cycles and go in circles Having sex as a form of self-harm We know it's hurtful I never knew when I was young and blowing purple That I would end up messing with needles Like sewing circles, yo We learn these cycles and go in circles Having sex as a form of self-harm We know it's hurtful I never knew when I was young and blowing purple That I would end up messing with needles Like sewing circles All right, y'all, so that was Circles, fresh off of Wildcard's latest drop, uh, Western Promises. I I, I like the, the uh, track. I think it's it's a good quality track, but it feels like it's more of him talking about, again, you know what I mean, being caught up in his addiction and, you know, finding a way out of it, you know, to get, you know, so he can get him, his life back, you know what I mean? Um, this this one feels more like 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 a filler track. I feel like the album could have done without this track. You know what I mean? Because you already kind of like went through it with 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 other tracks leading into this one. You know what I mean? So, no, it's not it's not a, it's not a bad track by any means. It's it's great quality. Uh, it's a great quality track and everything. You know what I mean? My man's still coming strong with the bars and everything. You know what I mean? Great flow. You know what I mean? And the hook kind of blends in with the flow and everything, which doesn't bother me at all. But it's just. I feel like this track though, it, it could have been one that was not needed. This one feels more like 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 a filler track to me, and that's just me. Um, but anyway, I'll still give it a like, you know, out of love, out of support for the homie. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and move on to track 14. All right, y'all, we are on track 14. This one being called "Pick Your Battles," and uh, it's another solo track. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this one by liking the hit hit. I'm not a square dog, I'm not a street dude, but I could be either motherfucker if I need to, gotta use your curve. I like that. I'm not a square dog. I'm not a street dude, but I can be either one when I absolutely need to. I like that. Sure your confidence will leave you like going back to dude who says I'll change after he beats you. I'm trying to reach you. This thing I call art. Gotta fight. Always win or lose is what we call art. But people instig- I like that. Always gotta fight, win or lose. You know what I mean? But that's called heart. And try to get your ass killed You're surrounded by a bunch of shit bags Like a dog park Sitting with this pain Darkness hidden in your brain Yo, they always want to kill me But the bitches couldn't name New wild cars Ooh, the dog bars And try to get your ass killed You're surrounded by a I call art Gotta fight Always win or lose Is what we call art But people instigate And try to get your ass killed You're surrounded by a bunch of shit bags Like a dog park Sitting with See, surrounded by a bunch of shit bags like a dog park. This pain, darkness hidden in your brain. Yo, they always want to kill me, but the bitches couldn't name new wild car shit. Is so you're always surrounded by shit bags like in a dog park, and the bitches they couldn't name you. The dog bars, y'all, let's go. Strictly critically acclaimed. If the critics talking shit, then all the critics getting maimed too. Poor for the rich. If your critics talking shit, then all your critics getting maimed too. Bro, let's go. Too much money for the gritty streets. Middle class, middle child, middle, a little, little lead. Pride makes a lot of motherfuckers straight kill. And they sitting in the prison cell and never, ever get to leave. Yeah. A lot of people have died over pride. Or they become a shooter. Yeah. Do some shit that they can't take back. And they change their whole future. Yeah. A lot of people have died over pride. Or they become a shooter. Yeah. Uh-uh. Like, like, ordinarily, I do like Walcard's hook. I do kind of like this one, although I feel like this hook on this one is just a little bit rough, man. Yeah, I don't know. This one, it just sounds a little bit off to me, but I do kind of like it still. Do some shit that they can't take back and they change their whole future. When someone bumps me and doesn't apologize, I'm resentful. If I don't talk it out, it starts burning in my mental. 
I can relate to that too, man. When someone crosses me or does me dirty, you know what I'm saying? I can get resentful. I feel that 100%. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I've had people, both my personal life and my professional life, you know what I mean? Talking about here on this platform, do me dirty. You know what I mean? Treat me, you know, like, like I ain't shit or whatever. Like I ain't done nothing for them. You know what I mean? And people wonder why I get resentful. I mean, shit, wouldn't you? If someone basically told you you ain't done shit for them when you know that that's not true. I'm just saying, bruh, bruh. Turns into a brush fire, then I see him talking and I wanna... And then my bad, y'all. And, and then I know he goes on talking about, yeah, and when it's not talked about, it, it freaking burns in my mental. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I know that feeling. Bumps me and doesn't apologize. I'm resentful. If I don't talk it out, it starts burning in my mental. See, if I don't talk it out, it starts burning in my mental. See? So you got to let people vent. You got to let people rant. You know what I'm saying? So they can get the shit out of their system. Otherwise, you're just asking for something way worse. I'm just saying. Turns into a brush fire, then I see him talking, and I wanna stick him in the fucking neck with a pencil as well. Yep, yep, I know. Again, people who done me dirty, I, 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 I be, I be lying if I, if I told you. Oh yeah, I mean, there, there hasn't been times when I thought about doing something, you know, harmful to them. But like I said, man, I'm not gonna go out of my way and do that because you know I'm not that kind of person. I'm, and I'm not saying card is either. So please feel, don't take any of what I'm saying personally. Don't take what I'm saying the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because it goes back to what I said in my reaction about Bill Burr. You can have your reasons to want to do these things to somebody, but never, ever act on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't act on it. You can have your reasons, whatever. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But just don't act on your reasons or whatever. Don't bring harm to nobody. It's not worth it at the end of, at the, end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But let's go. What it's like for men, man. Everyone's an alpha male. Seen it all around the world from Cali to Kalispell. Doctors want to swallow us just like Alice to Crowley spells. Everyone will. Yep. California, Washington, no matter where you are in this country, everyone is somehow an alpha male. Lose their mind like R. Kelly's out on bail. Clean up your side, pick your battles, and no course, remember. What? R. Kelly is out on bail? Are you serious? Followers just like Alice to Crowley spells. Everyone will lose their mind like R. Kelly's out on bail. Clean up. Oh, everyone will lose their minds like R. Kelly is out on bail. Man, he better not be out on bail. Your side, pick your battles and of course. Remember, everyone's got some trauma of some sort. Try to talk it out. Communication is key. Not just with your lovers, but with everybody. A lot of people hate on others because of envy. No, ma'am. I got a lot of love around Squim to Spokane. Men trying to hide their pussy like they Lindsay Lohan. They always got a front like a friendly dope man. Yeah. A lot of people have died over Prada. They become a shooter. Yeah. Do some shit that they can't take back and they change their whole future. Yeah. A lot of people have died over Prada. They become a shooter. Yeah. Do some shit that they can't take back and they change their whole future. Yeah. I feel bad for the kids now when they fight in high school. Catching ass whooping and it ends up going viral. Million views. Yep. Yep. I see what he's saying here. It sucks being a high schooler in these times, you know, when everyone has a cell phone, social media is now a thing because now, you know, when you catch an ass whooping, it, it, it could be a video that goes viral. And if you're the one catching an ass whooping, you know what I mean? You're, you're going viral for all the wrong reasons. You're, 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 you're known. Now it's a worldwide embarrassment when you get an ass whooping in, in high school, you know what I'm saying? Which is rather unfortunate. It's a good thing. I grew, when I was going to high school, social media wasn't a thing, bruh. Let's go. Getting shared now they want to kill themselves or grab a gun and teach the fucking bully how they really felt a boss is yelling at me in front of every facts people wonder why we have school shootings well that's because again kids are being bullied and when they're being bullied it's a worldwide phenomenon you know what i'm saying they're going viral you know what i'm saying it, and they're not just being embarrassed amongst their high school peers they're being embarrassed throughout the country and throughout the rest of the world wherever uh social media is available you know what i mean those those are more eyes that they need to have on them when they're catching an ass whooping and you wonder why they're quick to pick up a gun to either do themselves in or to go call, go do a school shooting bruh bruh go figure body yo i want to let it slide but then i'm like i'm feeling dry my professional side wants to just take it on the cheek but i'd rather use my hands like i'm a capable to speak yo i write this shit for me so i don't fall into my old ways trying to take my own advice so i can see my old age I like that, man. I write this shit for myself 
so I can learn from my old ways. You know what I mean? At my old age, I don't want to go back at, to my old ways. I like that. I like that. Let's go. Cause I be doing real well like the whole day. Now I'm on some road rage, pulling out a whole gauge, sticking in some rose face. Hey man, that, that that's natural. I be road raging too, man. When I'm surrounded by idiots on the freeway. Squeeze and make it soul sway. End up in the prison class trying to fucking crochet. Or end up dead like we seen before. It's hard when the only way you talk to your loved ones through a Ouija board, yo. I was at this show last month, man, and everything was good. I was chilling, and this dude keep bumping into me like, like hard, bro, like trying to check me, basically. I, I saw so I let it slide, like, bro, I let that shit slide like two, three times, bro. And on the last time, he ran right into me, dog, like hard as fuck. It ain't moved me or nothing, cause you know. Your boy Brick House or whatever, but I'm cool. I ain't, I ain't there for none of that fuck shit. And then, you know, that 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 third, fourth time when he ran into me, I, I had to put him on his ass, you know what I'm saying? It just got out of hand real quick, but it, it's squash now. It just, shit just be pissing me off sometimes. It was like, man, I'm, I come in peace, but somebody always want a peace, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a bar. <laughs> hey, that was a bar. And yo, that that's true, man. Hey, look. You, you check somebody, you, you can check somebody so many times, man, but when that when that person you be checking puts you on your ass, hey, that's on your ass. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, that was Wildcard with Pick Your Battles, fresh from his album, Western Promises. And yes, I am hitting the like on this one because I do like this one. All right, y'all, next track up on deck is the, um, is the one with Crazy Bone, Glass Moon Deluxe. I already did a whole reaction video on that, so we're going to skip that one, and we're going to go straight to the last track, track 16, which is called Death Card. So here we are, y'all, the final song of the record. You know what I'm saying? Wild Card, Broken, oh, uh, Broken, Western Promises, not Broken Promises, Western Promises, and this is the last track, track 16, Death Card. Without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into this so I can give my final thoughts on the album overall. Without further ado, like the hit hit. Go. Hey, yo, I think about death a lot. When will I go? I want to make the best of life before the end of my show. Because I have been so close to dying, but I won't let my flow stop spinning. And he ain't the only one, you know what I mean? Um, as someone who also has, has his fair share of of cheating death, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's something that crossed my mind, too. You know what I mean? When, when will I go? You know what I mean? When When's my, my end of the road? You know what I mean? You, you don't want to think about these things, but you just can't help but think about it. You know what I mean? Especially, you know... Like I said, if you're someone who's cheated death on a number of occasions, you know what I mean? It, it, sometimes you just can't help it. Shit just run through your head, you know, and you just can't help but wonder. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. Spitting gold out my mouth like a pimp who got cold cock Had cold tar delusion where I thought I was already dead From psychotic features all up in my schizophrenic head Had psychotic episodes, my mental got dark Felt like I died with every episode like Kenny from South Park Soul was full of... Damn, that's crazy, man. You're talking about, yo, sometimes I feel like, like like I've died many a times like Kenny from South Park. Damn. Sadness when I Poor Kenny, man. They, they need to quit killing that boy. Felt I don't exist and there's just levels to the layers of the darkest loneliness. Men and women dying in the cold from drugs and homelessness. Then they took my close friend. You know, it's funny. Um, I was watching one of Jeff Dunham's old stand-ups. Let me wind this back while I tell the story. I was watching one of Jeff Dunham's old uh, stand-ups. Um, I think it's called The uh, Spark of Insanity. It was a Comedy Central special. Um, and that rhymed. Don't hit the play. I hit the game. Bars. Um, it, and I believe it was, it was the uh, segment where he had Walter. Where he, Yeah, he was with, he had Walter with him. And um, they had a, a, a camera guy up on the stage. I'm pretty sure it was part of the act because um, Walter kept calling the guy out for being up on the stage and everything. And um, the guy came back out and surprised Walter and was going to leave for good. But then Walter goes, no, no, no. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Let me, let, me, let me look into that thing. This is Comedy Central. You know, I could see I could see Cartman. I could see, uh, who, who else did he say? I could see Kyle. I could see Kenny. Oh, he just got killed. <laughs> Bruh. The dog is slow. Ill, Ill time with that joke. But I mean, I, I just had to get that out. <laughs> 
Happiness. Men and women dying in the cold from drugs and homelessness. Then they took my close friend. Now with God, I got a bone to pick. Blood and blood out. I'm crushing all your bones with picks. And my gun is like behind the scenes because it has bonus clips. Life's about choices. Just like a pretty woman who gets offered lots of dick and she doesn't know which bone to pick. Bone to pick. It's life worth living because I'm still alive. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Bro, you need to make sure that all your tracks with features actually shows the feature on there. See, this one feature is Justin Cohen, so that's Justin Cohen doing the hook. I have to look at the album just to see if that was the case. I, then I know that if it's time, I should just close my eyes in search of better days with no more hate in their eyes. So oh, I like that hook, man. Especially that part when you say, yo, search for better days with no more hate in their eyes, bruh. People said this beat was haunted when he sent it to me. I'll be haunting all my beats with all my spirit when it's looming. And remember memories about my life and how it was. Dad said to me, the meaning of this life is just to love. That shit stuck with me forever. I was reaching for hope. And Paps would be so fucking happy. I'm not reaching for dope. I wonder if we get more tired as we get up in age. Cause God's preparing us to die at the end of our days. I always want to put out music just as much as I can. Before I die, I'm in a rush in case I fall off again. I keep on Trying real hard, but my mind is housing torture, and they always think I'll fall off like the state of California. I want. Ooh, bro, don't remind me, cause I live in Cali. Talking about yo, the uh, talking about reaching a fallen state like the state of California. Damn. Just to die, life's a painful assault I ran in crazy situations Wanna make it someone else's fault Basically so suicidal pain is robbing you LA County dudes will strangle you Until your skin turns dodger blue His life Bruh, are you talking about LA County dudes Will choke you until your face Turns LA dodger blue Damn, damn Worth living because I'm still alive I'm trying to find my way My lyrics get played. I wanted to make you laugh and help you escape all your pain. I lived a crazy life at times and it came equipped with lessons. My homegirl got me a bulletproof vest as a Christmas present. My friend Kim ended up inside the way of some harm. Then she died and I put her fucking name on my arm. No matter how far. Hey, rest in peace to Kim. You know what I mean? And yes, he does have a tribute tattoo on his arm with her name on it. Also has a tribute album called Shadow Work. Again, your boy is featured on it. So make sure y'all go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. Fucking tough you are when you love somebody and then they're just gone forever. That shit changes your heart. God, it came to me and said, I got a lot to just learn. I see Kim's sister searching for a spot for her urn. And if those people really killed her, then I hope you change your life. Because if you don't, I hope you die from a hot shot and it burns. If I die before... God, I like what you said right there, man. Those people really, really did her in, you know, then I hope they changed their life. And if not, if they're still a-holes, then I hope they, they, they die from a, a hot shot, bruh. My people, baby, know that I tried real hard to be so fucking better in this crazy ass life. Yo, but when I was alive, you motherfuckers could find me somewhere between the 10 freeway going up to the 90 west of promises. Ooh. y'all so that was wild card my bad y'all making sure my game console don't turn off because i do want to watch this youtube video afterwards but anyway that was wild card with death card the final track on this album and man this one was another heavy 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 track you know what i'm saying um man he ended this one off heavy <clears throat> And yeah, so overall thoughts on the album, I, I definitely think it is one of his better drops. You know what I mean? Again, not taking anything away from the previous uh, two drops, you know what I'm saying? Because I know those are like some, some tribute pieces, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to downplay those. 
I when I say better, I mean this is definitely one of his more mature drops. It's, it's definitely he's definitely showed some some growth, some uh, some level of maturity. You know what I'm saying on this record. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, man. I, I I love the record. Only only critique. Only song I really don't like because to me it comes off as like a filler track is circles. So that I'll probably be the only song I won't be revisiting. You know what I'm saying? Because again, it, it just comes off like, like like a filler track to me. You know what I mean? No no offense, Phil. Um, but I just feel like that's a track that wasn't necessarily needed because I feel like it it just kind of goes back to all the stuff that you addressed before early on into the record. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I mean, and I guess well, and I guess the title really really fits that track. I mean, it's called Circles, so I mean, it is what it is at the end of the, of the day. Um, but yeah, so outside of that track, really, I love this album, man. I think all the other tracks are fire. You know what I'm saying? This record is fire. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a solid, solid release, man. Really, very very little complaints on the record. Very little critiques towards the record. Um, the hook for i believe it was pick your battles um that one the the hook on that one could have been a little bit better um but i still i still really like it because you know again it's all about the messaging at the end of the day which i always appreciate and i always um um respect I'm trying to make sure that i'm able to speak because man this this record man it, it really hit man um there were some tracks that I definitely can relate to, you know what I mean, given with some recent experiences that I just gone through. Um and yeah, man. Um Yeah, man. This was something that I definitely need, needed to hear and I'm definitely glad I got myself an autographed copy and I'm glad I did this album review and Phil, hopefully you appreciate this album review as well. Uh please leave me a comment in, in the comment section so I know you got a chance to check this out and uh yeah, let me know how you feel and everything. Solid album. I love it. Hopefully y'all y'all love it too. Hopefully y'all love it enough to go visit Wildcard QM to go pick yourselves up a copy. I will link the shop um, in the description underneath the playlist link. So if you're not sure, you want to go back and listen to the album in full, uninterrupted on your own free time as you would like, by all means go do so. And if you're liking what you're hearing, then go visit wildcardqm.com slash shop to go get yourselves a copy. All right, y'all. I'm talking in circles, much like that one track. And y'all know the deal. Y'all feeling the y'all want to go and uh, support the homie? Hey, go like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Put the bell notifications on so you never miss a drop from Wildcard. And if y'all feeling the vibes over here, do all the YouTube thing things for your boy. You know what I mean? To support my channel, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, till the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bass. I just want to have you to do it on the street. Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? You get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!